All right, and we're live. We're going to be playing a little bit of Project Zomboid, which is still in beta. Has it? This is my uh, this is my little brother. He's a seasoned <laughs> a seasoned veteran of uh, of Zomboid and. Uh, and I'm a, a an ickle firsty, so we're gonna. S nope. <clears throat> so we'll. S <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, good to know. Good to know. All right, and I'm going to hit the live button and then hit play. Here we go. I was just talking about how I play so many games with a controller, but and although this con this game has some controller support, um, just a brief check-in with the game suggests to me that maybe controllers don't play so nice with the game. Um, and it's, I think a lot of the time these like overhead view characters are a little bit more like you want to point and click rather than um, have the like the slowness of moving the, the analog stick. Um, well, yeah, because like currently uh, it's like a tile based system, but they're trying to move away from that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, everything's on like, yeah. With it being a tile-based system, it's a lot easier to use with like a controller. Like I know you can play this game on uh, on Steam Deck, which is basically just like a controller between or a screen between two controllers. So you know. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know that maybe it'll have as it begins to move out of beta someday. Who knows when that'll be? Maybe it'll. Uh, All right. Maybe it'll so, get better uh, controller. Um, you want to just click show mouse cursor while aiming? You know, I see. I I have your I have your screen <clears> open on the other mic. My other monitor, my convenient other monitor. Oh, you can see what I'm doing now. Yeah, I just want yeah. to double check. I remember also the text was really small before, but I think this is okay. I thought there was a button that let me made it bigger last time. No, I'm not seeing it. It might be in under accessibility, maybe. That's okay. I think I can read this fine. It's just I've got a bit of glare, but that's that's a me problem. All right. Uh, so I'll hit host. Wait, I found Wait. font size. There's a whole section called fonts. Uh, right there, down there, and see font size here. Four times font size. Ah. Hello, at the bottom of the display. It's in display. Oh, I guess four times is the biggest. I could can do... you see it in display? Yeah, four times is the biggest, yeah. Well, let's try that. Uh, Alright, you, you can make the context uh, menu a bit bigger. Sorry, your stream... I, I'm, I'm a little bit behind because of the stream delay. Uh, oh, that's okay, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess I don't need to do anything with server settings. Uh, no, I mean, do? you can, you can, okay, so when you click host, you have the options of adding, like, giving memory to the server, mm. and then you can go to, once you give, like, a certain amount of memory to the server, I think, like, how, how much, how many gigabytes of RAM does your computer have? Uh, that's a good question. Offhand? Is it, like, oh, 30? Man. Is it around it's... 30 or something? Or is it, like, 16? It might be 16, I... I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, I can I can host the server and set if you want and just invite you. I don't have any mods installed or anything. Um, I don't mind hosting it, but what what should I like? Should I use the full RAM for it, or like should I use a 16 gigabyte server? Or no, 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 no. You want to do like maybe I don't know, like five should be fine. Like five or six should be fine for now. Okay. Um. And I never, never memorized that. Primary VRAM. Uh, that's not right. 
RAM. Yeah, 16 gigs. Um, well, if there's server problems, I can host it. I, I shouldn't have any trouble. So 5 you recommend? I mean, for without any mods, 5 should be fine for just us both. Sure. I mean, you can okay. you can you can put more on like eight, but I don't think we're gonna need any more than eight for now. All right. I wonder if can I change the name of the server? Uh, from server test, yeah, you should be able to when you uh click manage settings. Uh. Zombite. Uh, public name. No, don't, don't, don't make it public. <laughs> right. Um. The main stuff you'll want to mess with is either like vehicles or like sandbox stuff, like zombie population time, world and whatnot, meta stuff, loot rarity. It, do you think all that good stuff. do you think these defaults are all like the the normal version if you if I was playing single single player um I would say the normal stuff is fine I would just say go into zombie lore and change proper zombies transmission from blood and saliva to just saliva because with blood and saliva you can get scratched or lacerated and that'll be like a percentage chance to be infected instead of just being like definite infection so you can know if you're either you're infected or not infected if it's bite or versus, you know, getting scratched and whatnot. I mean, that's the only thing that I typically change, which is underneath, like, yeah, like, zombie lore. Proper zombies? Yeah, I have to check off proper zombies to be able to... Transmission saliva only, you said, or...? Yeah, saliva, saliva only means that you can only get infected by bites, so bites are 100% infection rate, and that's the only way you can get infected. Cool. Nice. I like that. All right. Uh... And you could also, if you wanted to do make it a little bit more realistic, you could do zombie house alarm triggering, which means if a zombie like smashes their way into a house, it'll trigger the house alarm, which is also in zombie lore. Also, one thing I might recommend is removing. Um, removing zombie respawns if you want zombies to not respawn in our world so we could potentially actually clear out like a large number of them uh, even though it's really hard to do so it would be an advanced zombie options beneath zombie lore and you would want to change respawn hours to zero oh so then you could you could th theoretically clear out an entire cell of zombies and make it safe Yes, you can. Uh, people do that actually a lot. I, I play a multiplayer server um, called Light Vanilla because it's like a, it's basically just a vanilla uh, server with some like quality of life mods, and um, people theor uh, periodically do that and they clear out entire parts of like a town or a city and they wall it off uh, and keep zombies out. And you have like a little safe zone area where you can buy stuff from other players. It's usually pretty cool, in my opinion. Very cool. You know, at least as far as, as far as Zomboid goes, that is. All right. Creating backup host game. So do do I need to invite you to the game? I don't. Yeah, you should when you get into the game, you'll be able to pause it and you'll be able to click invite players. Uh -huh. And then you can invite me because it's going to be like a buy like whitelist basically. Mm. sweet <clears throat> just from some of the videos i watched of gameplay um not of gameplay per se but like of uh the ones that were on the the store page for the for the game it, the it looks kind of like um like it's got um it's on you know what like i think one of the things that zombie games have been missing over the over the years has been like scope yeah, um, a lot oh, yeah, of zombie the maps huge. Yeah, a lot of zombie games are like shooters, and then there are some that are a little bit like, um, like character RPGs. Um, yeah. But but 
there haven't been a lot that were like really diving into the um, the resource management side of zombie survival games, which I thought was a an unta untapped potential, and so I'm kind of excited about about that. This seems like they've gone here. I'm gonna read these these uh, descriptions here of. All right, go for it. They're just these different towns in Kentucky. Yes, they are. So there's also actually a gigantic city, like an actual city with apartment buildings and complexes and whatnot, called Louis Louisville, which is really close to West Point. West Point, though, happens to have the highest starting zombie population, so it's going to be pretty hard to get a foothold in uh, West Point right away. Mm. Um, out of the towns that I recommend to start with, I recommend either Muldraw or Rosewood. Uh, Riverside is really close to the Ohio River, but other than that, there's really no reason to spawn at Riverside. So, you know, at least in my opinion. Cool. There's a golf club there, though. You can go ahead and hang out at, like, a golf club, like a country club for old men. Kind of interesting. I was, uh, I was down in Louisville, Kentucky not too long ago. Brought back some oh. mighty fine bourbon. What were you doing down there? Oh, I was singing some good old barbershop music. Competing in a barbershop quartet contest. Um, oh, it looks like Rosewood might be the one to go for. I like I like that there's a penitentiary nearby. That's kind of cool. Oh, the, the, the prison is very interesting because, um, well, it's, it's going to be full of zombies. Of uh, but it has, a, it has a gun store. They're not a gun store, like it has its own armory, so you can you can get a little bit of ammo there and start shooting some of them, but uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to clear. I think I've only cleared it once, and I have nearly a thousand hours in this game, I think. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. Alright, let's do Rosewood. Oh, you can choose traits? Look at this. Yeah, you get to, you get to create your own character. So... What a trait is, um, by the way, so you can see, like, you have, like, the bars there. It'll say plus 75%. What that means is actually you're getting four times the amount of experience you would normally for just, like, one bar. So, um, sometimes if you don't want to spec into something very specific and you want to be, like, kind of like a jack-of-all-trades, you can just put, like, one point into most uh, things and just get a four times experience bonus to all of those specific uh, oh, traits you have. Uh, okay, this is cool. Yeah, so you can kind of build a character that, uh, and, and actually give yourself extra points. Like, you can kind of min-max if you want, but you could also build a character around, like, yeah, like RP. role-playing, which would be fun. Okay, there's a lot of RP servers for, uh, for Zomboid, actually. It's a very RP-heavy type game, but there's also a lot of servers that are just kind of like, you play kind of like Rust. Which I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that, because PvP in this game is, is really, really bad at the moment. Yeah. Huh. Um, when you join the game, will you join, like, with a character that you already have, or does you have to make a new one I, as well? Well, you see, you see at the bottom, you see the select to load, uh, at the very bottom of, like, the occupation list. You can actually save your build, so I can just... Uh, select a build I previously had saved, and okay. then just change some stuff around. So I won't be very long. Um, I have a build I use usually for uh, for multiplayer, and I just want to like, change some things for for this. Nice. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna go with something. I don't know. Maybe I'll go with, like, Chef, or Burglar, perhaps? That could be fun. Burglar allows you to immediately uh, hotwire cars. Also, so Light-Footed, by the way, uh, is a little bit ambiguous. When you fight zombies, I don't, I don't know, if you, have you done the tutorial yet, by chance? No. Or no. Oh, okay, so this is going to be a little bit strange for you. Alright, so, uh, in the game, you have, like, a combat stance that you can enter when you have a weapon in your hand 
and uh, late footed determines how fast you move in that combat stance. When you uh, reach, I think it's like level three or level four, or late footed, um, you can move faster than like shambling zombies while in combat stance, which means you're basically unkillable. I mean, if you you know don't get ambushed, that is. Oh, nice. So survive till level three. Pretty. <laughs> Also, yeah, you can, with, with Burglar, you can hotwire cars right away, so if you find a car and you pop its hood and it has gas in the tank, you can get in and hotwire the car and uh, drive it to a gas station and fill it up. Nice. Oh, so you know, you know in, that, in this game the water will eventually turn off and the power will eventually turn off as well, right? I, I feel like I read about that at some point. Yeah, it's uh, typically between, like, days, I think it's between day zero and day, like, 15. The water and the electricity will turn off. Savage, that seems quick. Well, I mean, it is a airborne zombie virus infection thing, so, you know. Yeah, fair. Disorganized. I have to... I'm at negative six points, so I have to change the number of points that I have. Yeah, you have to give yourself negatives. That will, uh, you know, help you out. You can get, what I recommend, which is really good, is you can get underweight, and then just walk around and just eat a bunch of food all the time. Just go from house to house and just stuff your face with food. Or go to, like, the superstore and steal a bunch of ice cream. That just make yourself really fat. Does that does that undo the underweight thing? Yeah, because when you're underweight, you just spawn like 20 pounds low, lower than well. There's because there's underweight and there's very underweight. Uh, I typically do very underweight, but that's usually because I'm playing like longer form, so we might not play long enough for you. And like unless we play this like a couple times, which I'm fine with playing it a couple times, but um, if we play it only like you know three or four times, uh, then we. Uh, you might not be able to reach normal weight status, but yeah, you can gain weight in this game and lose weight. So you can go from being very underweight to like obese if you just keep eating really fatty foods. Huh. So yeah, so like, like 80 a... pounds is like normal, or 80 weight, I guess, is just whatever it's considered. Give myself very underweight and then add some other skills. That sounds like fun. I won't be able to access uh, this. Oh yeah, never mind. You already know. I was gonna say I'm not gonna be able to access that menu until you invite me to the server, but you already know that. So. Uh, maybe I should take inconspicuous. Ooh, graceful. Make less noise. Iron gut. Oh, that might be a good one to have if I'm underweight and I'm just gonna stuff my face all the time. Well, as long as the food you're eating isn't, like, bad, you should need it. Like, I usually actually get weak stomach because weak stomach only really plays a factor if you're eating, like, rotten food or food that's bad and whatnot. Like, stuff that's dangerous. It's because, like, uh, if you eat something that's, that's, you know, rotten normally, you might not die, but if you have, uh, you know, weak gut, and you eat something that's rotten, which why would you ever eat anything that's rotten, uh, you'll definitely die. So, it's basically a couple free points, in my opinion. Nice. Weak stomach. They're gonna be reworking some of these uh, perks, I think, when Build 42 comes out. Oh yeah. Um, so, some of them will do stuff that's different. Like, short-sighted right now, you can take it and you don't really need to wear glasses. All it does is reduce your foraging radius by like one tile, which is really nothing. Um, so short-sighted is also usually considered like free points. Yeah, they're going to change that though in the next update though, so what, you actually have to wear glasses. And if you lose your glasses, your screen's going to become blurred. So you're going to actually have to wear them. Like, Ooh. you know, pretty much all the time. Ooh, that would be painful. 
pacifist. That's cool. Smoker. Hmm. Okay. I think. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this. Oh, there's names and everything. Look at that. Vernice Babcock. Look at these random randomization. That's interesting. All right, let's go with. I can't like invite you and then do all this character creation stuff. No, yeah, yeah. It's I would be able to join normally if you like. In, uh, like if I was invited in the past, it wouldn't do this if you like died and reset and everything. But it's just because I haven't been whitelisted at all. Once I'm whitelisted, it should be fine, like for good. Yeah. Okay. Also, if you spend a lot of time creating your character, you can uh, save it as well in like the bottom left hand of the box there. Yeah. I won't spend too much longer. I just, uh, I'm always a, I always when it's like trait selection and such. That's a bit. That takes a bit of a longer time to. Oh yeah, cause you gotta look at everything. Well, you see, you see that guy holding the girl in the back there. Yeah. Whenever the lightning flashes, you should, uh, you should take a closer look at that. <clears throat> By the way, I don't usually use like push to talk, so I might periodically forget that I uh, I have that enabled. So if I'm like quiet for a while or take a second to respond, that might be why. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> no worries. The end times. Nice. Loading chunks. There is no hope of survival. One man, one desire. This is how you died. Oh, oh. No, there's no savior in this one. We're uh, we're dead. This Click is a uh, death story. Click to start. Okay. The basics. To scamper around in Project Zomboid, use the WASD keys. Okay. Zombies respond to sight and sound. Okay, wait. How can I... Invite friends. Birch. Birch invited. Where did...
sheet of paper. Okay. By the way, you can you can actually walk around with WASD and hold right click and whatnot to uh to look more like manually. Yeah, very fun. Crap. I feel like the zombies are gonna come in here. But I haven't even read the I don't know where the thing did you get my invitation, by the way? Oh, yeah, I'm in. I'm just making my character right now. I just gotta change some stuff oh, around. Oh, okay, I see. I'm trying to find where do I... Where I open up the... 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 the um, tutorial again. I had it open... Oh, like... it's, it's on the client, I think, button on the left-hand side. Maybe? I, I'm not entirely sure. Zombies are coming through. Wait, what's this? Oh shit. That is a zombie coming right through there. It's too bad I can't, like, pause the game to look at the. Tutorial. Yeah, I, I guess it's. I guess you can't pause the game. So, uh, the zombie is like coming at me right now. I'm probably gonna be dead. I mean, you can shove them if you hold right click and uh, press space bar while, while you know holding right click. You can shove him when he's close enough to you. Make him fall over and then step on his face. Kill him that way. How? Okay. Oh shoot! He's on me. All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm loading the map right now. I I thought you could close it or pause it when you pressed escape. It might actually just be because I'm I'm technically in the game, but I'm in the lobby. From what happened on the stream, yeah, it's like you're getting munched on right now from my, from my perspective. That's okay. I spawned inside the police station where you just were. That's convenient, I guess. <laughs> oh, if uh, that character dies, can I not reload it? Uh, you, well, you, you can, but you needed to have saved it first. I did. Oh, and you can click it at the bottom then. Like, you can uh, reload that same character that you just were. It should be, because it should be have, like, a saved profile. Ah, oh, so weird. Seems to have disappeared. Oh, well. Alright, well, I'm at the, uh, the police station currently, um, because I happen to spawn there as well. Oh, so when you spawn in, you're not necessarily near where I am. Yeah, no, I spawned in as a, uh, as a police officer, though, so that's why I spawn inside the police station. Oh, I forgot, they can lunge on the server. On the other server, they can't lunge. I'm in some little house. That I don't know where it is. If you press M, you can open up your map, by the way, to check uh, around you. Ah. Okay. I am. Yeah, when you when you walk around to open up doors, a lot of the time you want to use like hold like right click and whatnot to uh, to get ready to smack something if it comes through. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go raid the armory here at the police station. Oh, here we go. Okay. So you're like right down the street from me. Movement, zombie senses. Zombies respond to sight and sound. Be extremely wary of loud noises. Gunfire is the horde is sure to arrive to investigate. Running. 
use left shift to jog and left alt to sprint. Survivors can crouch by using C. Cool. That seems rational. Press C, crouch. Yeah, it's relatively basic. <laughs> like most other games. Their visibility. Reduce their visibility further. You can also jog while crouching. That's cool. Don't run. Okay. Combat. Here, this is what I probably needed to know earlier. Uh, power is power. Hold left control to enter A mode. Press left mouse button to attack. Stabby weapons like knives will sometimes be able to jaw stab zombies to kill them in one hit. Don't expect expect much from the butter knife though. Best way to re-dead a dead person is to knock them to the floor and then get all bashy with their brains. Attacks or shoves. In the absence of other attacking zombies, your attacks will be aimed towards downed zombies with your, within your weapons range. Yeah, the armor here is severely lacking. There's not a lot of ammo at all. Oh, yeah? Yep. Not a lot. Water supply will not last forever. Stockpile water bottles. You know, wow. I could just live in the police station like a psychopath. <laughs> Is it a good spot to live in? I mean, not probably not really, <laughs> to be quite honest. It's just a police station after all. There's a fire department right down like the road from it, though. Are you still at that house where you spawned at? Yeah. Okay, I can probably to... make my way over to you real quick. I'm trying to follow the- Oh, Jesus! You okay? I just got scared, uh, jump scared a bit by a zombie. Um... I- I've been following the instructions of the- of the game to, uh... To shut all the... Um, what do you call it? The curtains? The curtains, yeah, that's right. I think I'm going to have to fight with a bread knife. You can you can quick close them by holding shift and E at the same and yeah, holding shift and pressing E. Shit, shit, shit. How do I Oh crap. How do I equip the bread knife? Oh it's equipped. You right click it and click equip primary. Okay, here we go. I think I'm gonna try and fight this zombie with a bread knife. Unless I can find a better weapon. 
I am. It's in the middle of the summer, and I am super. I'm just taking off my long socks and making me stand still. Jesus. I'm like sunstroke right now. Because, uh. I'm trying to fight these guys. It's the middle of the summer. Forgot about that, to be honest. There's, uh, two zombies inside the house. Oh, and then I... Oh. I think I just died again. No, oh, you did? What happened? Oh, maybe I was bleeding. Oh, I see, yeah, you're... I'm looking at your screen right now. You were bleeding, yeah. I don't, I don't know how you were bleeding, but you were. <laughs> I, uh, I pissed off way too many zombies, and I need to run away, because I'm not powerful yet. I don't have... Uh, any good weapons. I'll try and meet up with you when you uh, respawn next, if I can get my bearings here. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Okay, now I'm in... Let's highway patrol cop right now. I'm in a new house. Oh, by the way, if you kill a zombie, you might be able to grab its uh, watch from it. You can wear an electronic watch that way to tell the time. Press M real quick so I can see where you are on the move. I think I might be down the street from you. I am. I am now. Hoping for stream to catch up. I'm in a different place now. I, I was in a house. I'm in a different house, but now that I'm in a house that's closer to other houses. Okay. I, well, all, uh... The buildings are all orange, and they're in a rows. I'm actually, I'm in the one that's sec- yeah, I'm like, if you go, uh, wait, hold on, zoom out again. I think I'm in that street, I'm in like the corner. So if you were to go uh, up that road and then head left, you'd find me. Oh no. I hear the zombies bouncing or banging on the door. Let me let me come let me come to you actually and then we'll uh we'll I'm go from there. I'm gonna sneak around a little bit. There is a really good car here actually. Holy shit, hold on. It's a really nice sports car. Man, I can't get a break, like You'd think there'd be like a knife, like a kitchen knife or something. Ooh, there's a lot of zombies here. There's actually a lot of really nice cars nearby, huh? Which house in the row were you on, by the way, again? Uh... The second one to... From the farthest east one? I don't know. I can tell. Do you know, like, I don't know if I'm even pressing the right button. When I was trying to fight earlier, I was right, I was left clicking the zombie. Yeah, you you hold you hold right click to enter a power stance, like a uh, combat stance. Oh, you have and to then hold you, right uh, click. Yeah, and then you left click to do your like swing. Oh. Okay, I was definitely pressing the wrong thing. Oh, hey, I'm coming are. into your house right now. Hi. Uh, can you unlock this door? Is it locked? 
Uh, yeah, your front door's locked. I'm coming into your bathroom. I was being chased by zombies. I'm gonna run around and kill them. Once I, uh, drink this. I think, I think there you're was a zombie right? trying to break in earlier, and it might have broken in. Well, there's three outside your door, your door here, so I'll just kill them. The back door or the front door? Back door. If they're shoved on the ground, you can actually stand on top of them and they can't move anymore. So like this person here, I'm standing on top of them, they can't move until they, yeah, you step on them. Uh, I recommend wearing one of their red watches, by the way. Like their digital watch, you can put that on. They have them, like 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 I should. Like I should. You should them. wear the digital watch. Yeah, the digital. Yeah, the zombies. The, uh, one of them is gonna have a digital watch on it. You should equip that. Okay, there's a couple. There's a couple zombies right outside. Sorry. That's okay. I, I, I I'm just really encumbered right now. I need to like put some stuff down. Oh God! Don't let them inside. Did he, did he bite you at all? Uh, I don't know. You yes. can press H to check your. You know, are you bitten? Or are, you, are you just scratched? Lower torso, torso laceration, bleeding. Okay, you need to grab like a pair of socks or something and right-click it and click rip clothing. Either your a, own socks or just. Oh, or you have a bandage? You need to I have put a that bandage. on. Bandage. Yeah. How do I open? Oh, just uh, press H. You can press H as well to open up your. You can just right-click the wound on the menu. Apply bandage, lower torso. Now that window's fucked. How do I search them? The zombies, uh, you bring your mouse over to the right-hand side there. You see how it says loot all? Like on the house, it's like the bottom there. Uh, if you, you can see that they have like little icons or little dead zombie icons. Uh, you can hold shift when you're over top of them, and uh, use your scroll wheel to scroll between inventories that you're standing here, like ones you can interact with. So by standing here, I can use my scroll wheel and hold shift, and I can interact with like all the fridges and whatnot. Okay, I'm a little bit encumbered right now. I'm, I'm pressing shift, but it's not bringing up. You have to when okay. So if when you're standing over top of the zombies, your your stream is a little bit delayed for me, so I can't see exactly what you're doing. When you're standing over top of the zombies, though, if you bring your mouse, so you see how you can access your inventory by bringing your mouse up to the top of the screen there. And yeah. like clicking the, oh, yeah. you can they... bring your mouse over there and then hold shift while your your cursor is inside the box, and then oh. use your scroll wheel while holding shift to cycle between all the inventories. Oh, I see. And that way you can cycle through all of them and then find the one with the well, like the red watch, and then right click it and put it on your wrist, and then you'll have like the time in PM. Speaking of which, we should probably get inside for 6 PM because there's going to be a TV show on we need to watch. We don't, we, we don't need to, but we probably should. So I just equip the watch. Yeah, oh, just put it on your... Oh, 5 okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go, see? Nice. Alright. Have you already looted this house here? I... I don't know. What... I don't even know what I'm supposed to loot, so... I've, I've picked up some bandages, but that's it. <laughs> Ooh, well... You haven't obviously checked the shed here, because there's a generator inside. There's a saw, uh, some nails, duct Damn. tape. I need a hammer though. A gas can, which is really good. Um, no hammer though. Apparently, I, I, my left hand is bleeding. Oh, I must have cut my hand picking up the glass. Yeah, you might have cut your hand picking up the glass. What should you I? You could have also potentially run through a window. Uh, just 
get a piece like a ripped cloth and uh, use that on your hand. Can I just rip up some socks, I guess? Yeah, you can rip up socks or anything, really. Rip clothing. Ripped sheets. Apply bandage, left hand. Oh, if I also, I have a thing for you as well, I forgot. If one of my bandages is dirty... You don't really need to care about that. I mean, you'll get an infection, not like the zombie infection, but you'll get like, um, like you'll become sick, I guess, and the wound will take longer to heal. But other than that, it's not really that big of a deal. Oh. So you can, you can, you don't really need to worry about the bandage, but yeah, if it, if it gets uh, dirty, you can typically replace it. I want to come into the living room, by the way. I'm turning on life and living. You can also, yeah, you can right-click tiles, you already saw that. But yeah, if you stand close enough to it, you can access the floor tile and uh, also access it. You can right-click the nightstick in your inventory and equip it to your belt, so you can hotkey it with, like, two or three. Okay. So you can see when I do that, I put mine on my belt. I mean, so much information! I love and it. Now we're learning how to fish. Very, very important information on how to fish. Can I sit on the couch? Uh, there's a mod for that, but currently in the game you can't. You can't interact with stuff like that. <clears throat> Lame. Ooh, we have a we have a, a hammer upstairs. That's nice. So is this, is this our house? Is this the house we're going to live in? Is this a good one to be in? Is this a good area? Probably, probably not. Probably not the best, to be honest. Well, I'm happy to move. I have not had a chance yet. Oh, we got trapping for beginners. A couple skill books over here. Metalwork. Damn. That's going to come in handy. We can actually go out to a bookstore if you want to head up there. I've been, I'm. It's so early. Like I don't, I don't know what's valuable to take. Um, don't worry too much about books for now. What's mostly gonna be valuable is like, um, backpacks, good clothing, like as in like clothing that gives you armor, um, things like cigarettes, maybe VHS tapes. And like if you're curious if it's valuable, then just like let me know. Uh, if you have a pen, by the way, you can mark your map. Like you can you can press M and then put icons on your map. Like I'm gonna oh, true. grab a pencil and put an icon on this map because there's a generator here, in case we need it. Okay. Oh, I love that. So the pen is not useless. No, it's not. It's not an improvised weapon like uh, they want you to believe it is. Is soap useful? Uh, you can use soap to clean yourself. Um, other than that, not really. I mean, uh, cleaning yourself is useful if you have the fear of blood trait, but if you don't have that, it's not really that big of a deal. Alright, well, let's... Uh... Alright, come, come downstairs and uh, follow me. Was it that I jog? A shift is jog. A shift is jog, and if you're holding, if you're jogging and you press left alt, you can sprint. Okay, so oh, you said there was a um a, a generator in there. Yeah, I marked it on our map. It's very heavy for now, so you don't really want to use it. There's a church up ahead. We could live in the church. It's a big building. So when you when you approach a zombie, typically we want to like walk on the outskirts so we don't pull all three of them at once or all four of them at once. At least that's usually what I do. So I wait for like one or two of them to notice me, because then it's easier to kill them off. But usually, if you're doing like you can fight a huge chunks of them with two people. Uh, all you need is one person to kite them and another person to pull them off slowly, like one by one. 
when they're, he's already dead on the ground. So when when you see the green light up, that just means you can hit him. If there's no green light up, that means you can't hit him. Oh, I think I have that turned off. You should enable it for any weapon, so then you can actually see when you can hit them on your screen. I'll protect you if you're going to enable that. Okay, give me one sec, I will do that. Oh, Harley's barking a lot behind me. She's you. <laughs> she <wants laughs> shut up. Bro. Uh. Is it under settings? Wait. I believe it is. It might settings. be under settings. Where's settings? the skull and crossbones at the bottom that means that's that's a pvp you can enable that if you want to kill me <laughs> oh no we're gonna keep that off i don't know how to find settings when i press uh, escape... it's under it's like i'm just killing somebody uh let me see i think if you press escape right now you can be able to pause the game maybe but it just no, shows me just... invite oh there we go options it's on their options you don't have aim outline and it'll be like any, any, uh, any Control. That's what you'd want to use. Accessibility. <laughs> you wanna, like, a, you wanna, you wanna, like, a yellow fedora? Like a beige fedora? No. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? You don't want a beige fedora? It look cool. <laughs> totally look cool and <laughs> weird and tacky at all. Oh, man. I like them in th in theory, but in practice, I do not. I can't find the... It should be underneath uh, display, it's at the top there for cursor. Show mouse cursor while, while aiming. Oh, there it is. And you want to click for any weapon, yeah. Fly, accept, resume, let's go. All right. Yeah, where did you All go? Right, let's go. I went, I went to there. We could go into the church, become church goblin. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to dismantle within the church, but we're going to have to move um, a TV and other amenities over if we do that. It'd be kind of interesting, though, because then we'd have to furnish our own place. I think, you know, kind of, maybe. Oh, shit. Become crazy church people. <laughs> Remember, if you're fighting one zombie and you knock it on the ground, just stand on top of it. Because if you're on top of it, they can't move, they can't go anywhere. Oh, yeah, you can hotwire our car, can't you? Are you still a burglar, or are you no longer a burglar? I'm still a burglar. That means that we can actually get a car pretty easily, then. Let's go inside the church. Ooh, Louisville map. Yeah, it's a map of the big old city that's real far away. It's not bad. Come get in the church, Chris, real quick. I'll uh, open up the front door. Okay, well, there's a second floor, like the building attaches to another part of the church we should probably go to for now. It's a little Man, bit more secure. I have got to get used to this using the keyboard and mouse. It's so weird. Oh, you can you can left click these light switches to turn the lights on and off here. Okay. I think there's zombies out back there. Probably, which is why we shouldn't loiter near the windows, because they can see us in the windows. Wrench. Hammer. Alright, we're also right next to a superstore. Well, that's not bad. 
Super swords seem like a good thing, right? They are kind of decent, yes. <sighs> kind of decent. They're kind of yeah. decent. They're we have right. a upstairs second floor area we could we could go to. Do we need to clear it? Is it full of zombies? No, no, it's it's not full of zombies. It's okay. You know, actually, we could we could live above like a bookstore or something because there are the apartments above the actual stores themselves. Where'd you go? Uh, I'm in this empty room to the southeast side of the upstairs area. Up, uh, upstairs. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna do this. Uh, accept that invite to the faction. That way I think we can see each other on the map. Um, if you press M. See mm, I don't see you either. I guess that's not enabled on this. Yeah, you didn't have that enabled, unfortunately. It's okay. Alright. Follow moi. Actually, let's see. Can you. If, if there's gas in this, you can hot wire it. No gas. Right. Let's, let's check all these cars to see if any of them have gas in them. Cars are one of the more complex systems in the game because if you pop the hood, uh, you can see you have like suspensions and brakes and tires and all that other good stuff. You just walk up to the hood and press E on it. Is there any gas in that one? Where do I see? If, uh, if you hover over the gas station, uh, the gas no, uh, pump at the bottom, it's out. Okay, that's unfortunate. Are they all out? Yeah, they're all out. It would seem. All right, I guess for now, we can, we can live in like this house temporarily. <clears throat> Have you already cleared it? Uh, nope. I'm just running over to it now, which is why we're gonna run inside and kill anything that's in here. I'll come let you in. Hello. Front, front door's open. Fighting a zombie. <laughs> Where are you? Oh shit! Shit, run! I'm at back. Where? Hang on. Oh, you're at back. Oh. Don't go around back, there's a bunch of them. The, the front door is open. Okay. There's a lot of them outside. And shut these drapes. Mm. Are you inside the house now, by the way? I am. Okay, if you go upstairs, you can right click um, the, like the drapes, or you can use the pickup function on the left hand side to pick up drapes and move them to different windows. Also, like I said, if you walk up to drapes and hold, press shift and then E, you can quickly close them. So if we grab blinds from upstairs, we can use them downstairs, which might be better. Uh, you can pick up furniture with the pickup tab, which is underneath the crafting icon on the left-hand side. You'll have your heart, and then you have your, your crafting, and then you have your, uh, your other option, your pickup, which you can use to pick up and place furniture down. So no. Where is that zombie banging that door? Probably the front door. Go go kill that guy if you can. It's not even at the front door. He's not at the front door? No, I mean there are some at the side of the house though. There's a lot of them actually at the side of the house. There's like four. Die, please. <laughs> I'm coming outside to help you. you. You heard it all, by the way? I heard like a chomp. Let's see. You're you're very you're very thirsty, by the way. As you can see, your your moodles on the right hand side. I got bit. Oh, you're bitten now. I don't know. 
Well, you can you can mark where this is on the map, and then respawn and try and make your way over here. And I can start like fortifying this place to make it like an actual place we can live in, if you want. <laughs> is it like because it's because we set it to the thing? It's guaranteed I'm gonna die, kind of thing. Yeah. Well, it it's all bites are always guaranteed deaths. And yeah, then I guess so. I might as well just friggin' go out with a bang. Go out fighting some zombies. Heck yeah. Let's go. Um. Should I just store all my stuff? You can come inside and store all your stuff in like one of the containers there, yeah. Where'd you where'd you go now? Oh, you're here. Just inside the house. Um. Oh boy. Then those are gonna be behind us. Here, more smacks. I can't tell if there's a zombie in this house or not. If you need me to put you down, I can I can kill you <laughs> if you want. Um am I like on the verge of dying? Uh, you, if you press H, you can see how much health you have. Like your, it'll tell you like you have your actual health bar. Yeah, we're we're about halfway. We're 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 bleeding slowly. Do I end your life now? No, I'll I'll sacrifice myself. I'll fight the zombies. Here comes one now. Okay, I'll okay, let I'll you let fight, you the, fight zombie. the zombie. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the zombie jumped back over the fence. Watch out for the lunge attack they do when they come over the fence, it's really, usually pretty deadly. There you go, you did it. <laughs> do I turn eventually? Oh, you will. That's why if I kill you now, you'll turn into a zombie and then I can kill your zombie. Alright, I'll turn on PvP. <laughs> I got beat you to death now, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not going to be clean like a bullet to the head or anything. I can drag your corpse inside or also, like, you know, dig a grave for you if I need to. <laughs> I love that. Well, you can, like, right click corpses and move them around. It's pretty interesting. It really sounds like a zombie broke into our house and is like upstairs somewhere. found a gun case with a shotgun in it and a box of shotgun shells. Hello. That's always nice. Did you did you mark by the way where our uh, place was on the map so you can come back here quickly? Uh I wouldn't say I marked it, but I have a good memory. Okay. That's and, uh, that's good at least. And the, it has maintained the progress at least on the map. So, I can return. I'll be back shortly. I might as well loot this house while I'm here. Ooh, a battery. That could be useful, right? Wait, a battery for a car? Oh, you mean like a normal handheld battery? Uh, yeah, it, it can be uh, useful for like flashlights and torches and shit. Ooh, reading glasses. That's convenient. What a great game. Mechanics, Volume 1.
I can actually start reading uh, one of the books now that I'm in here. I think we can actually sleep in the game, though. Unless that's a... Uh, well, I know in single player you have to. Like, in single player, sleep is an actual stat. Um, in multiplayer, I think you go up to a bed, and then you can just right-click and click sleep, and then you'll skip time quickly. Okay. That makes sense. Don't see why you wouldn't I, be able to sleep. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm not entirely sure if that's a thing in this... In, in life, that, eh, or if that was like a setting or a mod, but I'm pretty sure that's something you can do by default. Okay. Alright. There's not a lot in this little house that I'm in, so... <clears throat> I took the food, and I took some batteries, and I got a screwdriver, and some books. What what are the typical containers I should be looking for? Uh, usually, like, large wardrobes will contain stuff that you might want. Um, like, you know, anything that, like, dressers, anything you need, like, like food, you should go to the kitchen, obviously. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of just self-explanatory, like, what you'd expect to find in, like, an American Kentucky person's cupboard in, like, the 1990s, be it a, a, uh, you know, a gun container or just some clothes, you can usually expect to find it there. I mean, most of the main places we'd want to loot for actual gear are going to be, like, actual stores. What about a CD? CDs aren't really that important. What's going to be mostly important is VHS tapes. You can play CDs inside, um, obviously, CD players, but they don't do much besides, like, maybe make you less stressed and sad. Okay. Oh, stressed and sad. All right. All right, I think I'm going to try to run to you now. Here we go. Remember, you can just walk faster than them, than them if you need to. You can also press Alt to sprint if you, you know, have to as well. Yeah. I'm just jogging. To stay ahead of them. Oh shit, that's a lot of them. Can I jump over a fence? Yeah, if you go to a fence and press E, you can jump over a fence. Or if you jog and you go to a short fence, you can go over that. Okay. Uh, fuck. There's a lot of zombies in the way. I don't want to just. I don't want to just take them all with me. I mean, if you if you get if you're getting chased, you can try and like run through a house real quick. Just run through a house and then out the back and they'll usually get distracted smashing into the house. Right. Oh shit. Okay. I think I'm on the road that we're on. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Well, I'm still in the same house. I've, I've covered all our windows now, though. I... I'm just reading a book right now so I can, you know, maybe level Jesus. up a little bit sooner. Jesus Christ, there's so many. So many zombies. What did you expect? The whole population of Kentucky just up and like died out of nowhere, so now we're just left with this. Okay, I'm outside. So I was with my headset on, or plugging my headset in. You can come inside, just through the front door. I'm outside, there's probably five or six zombies following me. I can kill them. I'll come back out to help you. You, uh, you, you grab your stuff. I'll kill all of them. They're coming. They're, they're so spread out that I should have no problem killing them. That one just knocked me on my ass. 
Yeah, lunges from fences can be super deadly. Oh. He knocked my glasses off me too, the asshole. What happened to my... Nightstick? Your nightstick break? No, oh, it, it unequipped. Oh, uh, how do... Oh, I have to equip the watch? Oh, I don't have to equip the watch. That's well, yeah, you should equip the watch, though, because it weighs less when you equip it. But I... Do I equip it to secondary, then? Is that... No, you, you, you right-click it and you equip it to, like, your wrist. Where? Put on left wrist. Ah, there we go. Uh, There's another nightstick inside this suitcase if you need it. Nice. <clears throat> okay, so I'll put some food in the fridge that I found. Got some cherry, some lime. Oh, some... Nice. I really need cigarettes for my character. I'm very stressed out. It's going to get progressively worse for me. So the sooner the better. I also found some rope. I don't actually know what rope is useful for at the moment. Like just normal rope. Oh, rope! You can make a. You can make some late game stuff with that. Like you can make a flashlight on a pole, or whatever. Here, I st I'm stopping that incessant banging. By the way, I went next door. I'm killing the zombie. Oh, it was next door. Yeah, that knocking was next door. I also got you some leather gloves, which will be nice. Zombie can't bite your hand off. Man. This game is savage. Ooh, I, I also got you a water bottle, which will be really useful for you. So I noticed that there was a water bottle in the fridge here. Should I just hold on to it? Yeah, if you have a water bottle in your inventory, it'll like you you won't have to worry about right clicking and then clicking like drink now or whatever. You'll just automatically drink. Okay. So uh, you can refill it at a tap. Yeah. You can just refill it at a tap. Yeah, just right click it and click refill. It's too bad that like. At this early point in the game, we can't find a tub and just, like, plug it and fill it with water. Well, the tubs will always have 100 units of water until water turns off. And then when water turns off, every single bathtub's gonna basically have, like, water in the pipes that we can pull out, and it's gonna have a lot of water compared to, like, normal taps and sinks. So, okay. like, a sink will hold, like, uh, say, 20 units, while a bathtub's pipes will hold 100 units of water. So Our neighbor's in, house has nothing. You're in the neighbor's house that has the gnome in front of it? Yes, I'm coming back out though, I just looted it all. There's nothing inside. Okay, I'm just gonna check these cars down here. Yeah, if any of them have gas, uh, you might be able to take a water bottle and siphon some gas out, or take a gas can. I guess it's worthwhile to look in the garages first. Yeah, the garages might not have a... they usually don't have keys in them. But you can find like a saw and propane tanks and gas cans in there. Is E basically the interact button? Yes, E is like interact with everything pretty much. Okay. There's actually some gas in the gas tank, but this this car is destroyed. So we should remember but that. We can we can, we can, we can take a at some yeah. point. We can take a gas can right now and just go siphon it. We don't need like a wire. Or Do we have a gas can? Uh, we should inside my, uh, if you come back into the house, I've been storing all of my stuff into a suitcase. That's just been like chilling there. Also at six in the morning, a uh, TV show is going to turn on, I'm pretty sure. So you might be able to want to watch that. Also, I found you an acoustic guitar. Hey. It's on the uh, the table there, or in the kitchen. The acoustic guitar. OK. 
cool. I put the uh, leather gloves for you, by the way, on the table there. Clicking right click and placing items allows you to place like props in the world that will obviously represent like the item that you're, you're placing down. So like that, that suitcase there and the flashlight and everything else I've placed down is, uh, yeah. Also, as you can see, I'm covered in blood. I can go clean myself at any source of water, so long as there's enough water to clean myself in. So I don't always have to be covered in, like, you know, a lot of blood and guts. <clears throat> how do I know how I'm doing in terms of, like, drinking and eating? Uh, in your right-hand side, you'll see Moodles. It'll basically just tell you how your character's feeling. So Hecus when you see like a, to eat. yeah, so you can go eat like a snack, like a bag of chips or something small. Am I gonna miss the TV? Uh, I mean, I think I think you'll be fine for now. You don't need to worry about it until you're hungry. But yeah, it's fine American cookware, so you'll you're gonna learn how to do some cooking with this. You can right click the TV and do device options and turn up the volume. Life and Living is the one that gives you experience points. There's actually a couple news stations that we can turn on and listen to that'll have like lore stuff breaking down the outbreak. We can also find like radios and plug into or turn on like radio stations and whatnot and listen to those as well. Uh, people talking about the outbreak until eventually, you know, there's a communication blackout. And everyone like, you know, dies, obviously, sadly. I don't think we have any, uh, I don't think we have a radio here though, sadly. I got you a scarf, you want to wear a scarf so you can protect your neck from being bitten? Uh, does that help? Uh, you got 10% scratch resistance, it's not much, but it's something. Well, TV show's done, so might as well. Well, it's that weird like piece of cloth there. I guess I should rip up this guy's clothes. Might as well, right? Oh yeah, I mean you can if you want to get his uh, his his bandages. <laughs> Is it worthwhile to like take keys? Or no, keys keys for houses aren't worth it unless it's like a house you're trying to live in. Or like you want to get a lock for your gate. Locking is not really that important unless you're playing in multiplayer. But keys also don't really... They don't really take any... No, there's no encumbrance to it. So, I mean, you could take them if you want, but there's no real reason to take them. We're gonna take his right. corpse. I'm just gonna put his corpse outside. Okay, once you do that, you should uh, follow me, because then we can go to like a, a store. <laughs> Next to your own body, your old body. Where is the corpse? Drop. Just clean up the house. We can actually get, um, what's it called? We can actually go and get, uh, like a cleaner and clean the floors and whatnot. Get like a mop. Damn straight. Alright, can you follow me? We're gonna go to the main town. I don't want to like lose you. Yeah. All right, let's go. Do you have a uh, your weapon equipped to your belt? I was just about to. I was actually just looking at that because it appears on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, if you right click it, yeah, you just click a uh, equip on belt or equip on back or anything like that, and then you can like have a hotkey for it. Attach belt left. Attach yeah, so then belt I press, right. Uh, and then I can just press 2 and equip it. Nice. So, right. I'm actually just going to leave some clothes here real quick. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And I can tear them up later. Wow, 
Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. Oops. Okay, we need to go to a house by 12 uh, as well, So, because at 12 we're going to have uh, a carpentry TV show, which will give us carpentry experience. Allow us to, you know, make more stuff, make like barricade, like wooden barricades for our house. Nice. And all that good stuff. That's the dream. All right, we're gonna ransack this quickie mark, this zippy mart here. I'm gonna get myself some cigarettes so I'm not depressed. So I'm already getting sad. Desperation setting in. Is it worthwhile to take maps or no? I mean, you can read the map and then put it down. You don't need it more than once. Oh, okay. So if you normally want to get into a place that's like uh, locked like this, you right click a window and just click smash, and then you can right click it again, click remove uh, broken glass, and you can just jump in. You can also jump in through something if there is broken glass, you just have a chance of obviously cutting yourself on the glass, Yeah. which is not very good. Interesting. Whoa. Don't mind if I do. We can also steal um, some of these. Uh, oh, there is no cigarettes here. That's not good. We can steal um, like the props in here, like the pinball machine and whatnot. If we wanted to use that, there is there's no cigarettes in here. That's actually really bad. And there is no cigarettes in the police station. I don't know where I'm gonna get cigarettes then. Never mind. I found cigarettes right here on the wall. I'm just blind. Do you have like a backpack? I guess that's what helps you carry uh, more stuff, right? Oh, I don't have a backpack. I'm just very strong. I have I have high strength. I can only carry. I can carry 18, uh, but I need a backpack. I just have I have uh, I think nine strength. So I picked the strong stat. Okay, grab grab whatever you need from the store here. I just took like a bunch of water bottles and food and, and drinks. That's okay. I just grabbed some snacks as well. Let's go. So we can go to a firefighter's place, or you can keep heading down this this road here. I'm just I'm over encumbered. I wonder is it is it worthwhile to be over encumbered, or should I just? Uh, I mean, if you're only slightly encumbered, it's it's fine usually. But if you're more than like two stages encumbered, it's not usually that great. I'm only a few pounds over encumbered. This guy has a hand axe in him. I'm gonna take that. Oh. You can use that for uh, chopping down trees. Nice. There's cars in the back lot here that we can see if we can take. This thing here has gas in it. Hey. Should I, uh... Oh, should I drive it? I'm just checking it right now if there's a key. There's no key. Uh, if you get inside, you can press V and start hot wiring. It'll be one of the options there. Hot wire engine. There we go. Alright, I'll get out, of the, get out of the side seat there. Let me drive. Oh, how do I go to the side seat? Uh, hold press V and you can open up a radial menu. Oh, uh, I see. You can use it also Switch for quickly seat. hopping out of the car, because if like a zombie's at your window, smacking it. If you're encumbered now, you can throw stuff into the trunk. Because um, nice. the trunk can carry some, some things. I'm going to put the gas can and the hand axe in there for now. Press E to close it when you're done. 
See how much gas this thing has. Like, no gas. Okay, uh, we're going to immediately drive over to the gas station. Actually, you know, there is actually a gated community right in front of us that we could, uh, we could live inside and just, like, block off the exits. How do I... Can I not get in from the other side? You, you, you can. There, you'll see, like, there's gonna be, like, a green square from the other side. That's so weird. Uh, you should be able to get in for the other side, but that's fine. Uh, just remember to swap to a different seat, because that one has no windows. So I'm thinking maybe we live down here, because the zombies can't break through any of these fences, and then we just we block off the road. <clears throat> the car, the car turned, the car stalled and ran out of gas. <laughs> that thing had no gas. But yeah, what do you think about living up here instead? Because this is, I think, a lot better protected. Yeah, sure. I mean, you got the tall fences that zombies can't go through, but you can see them through. You know. You got a bunch of areas nearby. You got a burnt down house down the street. I love how I like killed one zombie and you've got like a pile of zombies around you. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a veteran zombie killer. I killed a many zombies. Your actual your zombie kill stats tracked in the information menu of your character. Ooh, a lighter. I know it's only a matter of time before I can like look at a list of of people's um, of 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 uh, equipment that you can loot and just know like almost right away. Yeah, just like what you want to grab. Yeah. Yeah, it will take a while to learn. Once you oh. once you get a hang of it though, this game is this game is relatively easy. Like once you understand how to play, but learning how to play is like pretty difficult. Yeah, this has. Yeah, this. It, it burned down, yeah. The burnt down houses are randomly generated, so this house can either be normal or it can be, like, burnt down, like any other house in the game. There were zombies in here, but I don't know where they went. They oh, went they... outside to attack me. <laughs> oh, I see. I can't open the door. It's not a door, that's a window. Oh, that's why. You can jump through any of the uh, things here inside as well, by the way. Like, because the door is just doesn't exist anymore. Right. Ranger pants. I want to be a ranger. Ooh, there's a holster. That's cool. Ranger pants are good, right? Well, ranger pants are that of a park ranger, so yeah, they're decent. He's got like good stats on his clothes. I feel like I'm gonna just take all his clothes. Okay, well I'm I'm going back next door to the one that I was killing all the zombies in front of. I think we're gonna have to go back to our house at some point, like our old house, to get the. Uh, <laughs> get my suitcase and other th my other thing, but other than that, you should probably just leave that one there. Take the new house with the garage we can't even get into. So there's a dead bird and a knife on the kitchen counter. <laughs> like an actual dead bird with like feathers. There you go. 
There's a lot of gasoline in this black truck. Ooh, you can you can take the gas can, which is outside the trunk uh, trunk of our car, and siphon it. Okay. A lot of zombies around this these parts. It's Kentucky for you. That's why we still haven't found a backpack. Yeah, of like any kind. We haven't found like a satchel bag. Uh, I'm inside the house next door with a gnome in front, by the way. Okay, I'm just figuring out how to siphon this gas. It's uh, you press V, uh, and then you can you'll get the option to take gas out. Oh, so I have to hop into the car first, or no, no. You, if you're if you're next to it, you can press V to open up a radial menu. Oh, I see. Siphon gasoline. Uh, how do I stop myself? Mid siphon. Uh, you you can usually just walk away. I think. W A S D. Okay, that's good because I just got almost got hit. <laughs> there was a zombie. Oh, well, if you need help, like I said, I'm uh, I'm next door. No, I'm good. I, I dodged him, and I finished. Oh, can I fight with the gasoline in my hand? Uh, if you have it equipped as a secondary, and you have a small hand as a primary. So yes. yeah, I mean, you can, yeah, you can also do that with like flashlights and stuff. Okay, good. It's all right, we're good. I got him. I think I'm gonna kill this guy, and then, and then I will put some gasoline in our car. Oh shoot! I mean, honestly, we could just we could have just hot wired the bigger truck, which has a, probably a bigger trunk space, I think, than that small car that we have there. You you want to hot, hot wire the black one? Yeah, we probably could. I mean, it has it'll have more space, right? That's true. And truck, so yeah, good endurance. Its stats actually seem good, like they were all green. Yeah, that's good. All right. Well, then I guess I'll just put the gas back in here. Wait, how do I put the gas in? It's the radial menu again? It's hold, it's hold the V, yeah, just V again from the radial menu. Add gasoline. <clears throat> so, if I hotwire it, then you can drive it, right? Yeah, hotwire means it doesn't require a key. Anyone can just get inside and turn on the gas. Perfect. So, I will... Pop some things in there. It's all the houses here have kind of like terrible loot so far. How do I drive? Oh, 
Oh, I, I can't hear you. I don't know if you're... Oh, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, you press W. To st I, I forgot that I had push to talk on. Um, you just press W to start the air engine. And you'll, like, real rev it. How do I know if I'm succeeding? Uh, you oh. can, hold on, it says you don't have a key. Is, is it possible to to fail at hot wiring? Yeah, you can fail at hot wiring. You have to do it until you success, you succeed. You'll see uh, the, the ignition will change from, like, having blank to having, like, wires in it if you hot wire successfully. You figured it out yet? I don't think I've been succeeding. No, oh, okay, yeah, just just keep cycling it until you succeed eventually. Cool. I'll bring the the truck down to where the car is so we can transfer everything over. Oh, there's really actually nothing in our car right now. If you want, we can take the thing over to our house and uh get everything from our house and just bring it over here. Sure. Are you in? Okay, uh, you know, I'm not inside yet. You know the way to our house from here? It's like yeah. straight forward and then right? Yeah. I'm inside the car now. Space is uh, break, by the way. Space? Alright, that's good to know. Space is break. Ooh, look at all the zombies here now. Ooh, that guy has a gun on him. It's the shotgun. If we want, we can take all the curtains as well from our, our old home, which is just like straight down here. Yeah, this is this is I guess good enough for now. How do I back up? Uh I just S to back up. Oh, okay. oh that makes sense. Also yeah, to turn off the engine you have to click the uh to click the ignition thing on the car. Okay, just grab everything we want from this place, I would say. And just throw it all in the back. The scarf there is on the table for you if you still want it. You never grabbed it from last time. How do I... There's a grab all function, right? Yeah, it'll say loot all at the top there uh, when you're looting like a container. Aha, there we go. Okay... Can't forget your acoustic guitar. <laughs> Should we take, like, everything? I mean, we don't have to. We can take what we want, though. Like stuff we think we're gonna need, or we're gonna use later. Remove curtains. Yeah, we can use these for the house. I think I think we should be we should be good. I put all of my stuff into the back of the van. Your scarf is still on the table right here. And there's a flashlight too, right? Yeah, hand torch. You can take that as well if you want. I think we're I think we're good other than that. Yeah. 
Aren't band-aids useful? Uh, they can be used as like normal bandages in a pinch, so I'd say they're pretty good. Oh, so there's boots in here if you want. Uh, cool. In this closet by the door, uh, you can use them. It'll uh, increase the amount of damage you do when you stomp things on the he the head. Where where are the boots? It, in in this closet here. Ah, okay. There we go. Don't mind if I do. Okay, you gotta close the trunk before you get in, and I'll drive us back up. We could stop by a book naked and get a bunch of books so that we can we can like read everything that we need. Learn how to how to carpent and metalwork and do mechanics on cars and all that good stuff. time getting in there you go it's hard to see it on that side for some reason yeah it can be a little confusing we're gonna go to the the book naked first which is down here and just steal a bunch of books There's a guy from the bakery here, he got his apron on and everything. Alright, we just want to steal, like, full, uh, copies of, um, series. So, like, carpentry, like, volumes 1 through 5, for example, would be, like, what we would want. I have carpentry volume 1, I think. That's good. I got carpentry's volume 1, 2, and 3. I need to get... Four and then five, and we're good on that. We also might want to get um, mechanics. I got mechanics. As well. I got mechanics one. Yeah, see if how many of those you can get. Brother, do you want a do you want a uh, fast food server hat? <laughs> no. Uh, you don't want to cosplay as like a McDonald's employee. Damn. That's a shame. Killing the zombies outside as they come towards our our place. Should I? Do I? I basically don't need multiple copies, right? No, we don't need multiple copies. Only the one copy is good. Okay, I think I have. A few multiple copies. I got so just putting all the zombies down that came over. I got fishing one, two, and three. I got. What do I got here? I can grab a trash bag real quick, and we can use that if it's helpful. I mean, there's a Rose Rosewood County buffet right across the street. If you want to like, eat burgers and eat chicken nuggets and whatnot, I see a lot of food here. I'm gonna get us a trash bag so we can use that uh, to put all the books inside. Hang on, I I'm not being very smart about my. about my. Uh, my book. Placing. Hold on. Where where are you? Here you are. Here's here's a burger. I got it from the other store across the street. Here's a here's a uh, garbage bag. I'm gonna put it on the counter here. You can right click it and click equip secondary, 
and, and, and place it down. Uh, equip secondary for the garbage bag and put all the books into that. Okay. I'm, it has carpentry one through three already. I'm just... This was probably not the fastest way to do it, but I'm returning... I'm returning no, to the shelf that, that the, the duplicates, yeah. Right, well, there is a, a burger in there for you if you want to eat that. So, like, there's tons of pizza slices in here. Fresh burgers, goodness. I can, I can right click or yeah, right click, and and click grab one, but I can't right click and click it, put one. So oh, you if can... you if you click the little arrow on the left hand side, um, like on the icon there, you see a little icon, and then there's a little dot in the right hand corner. If you click that, you'll get a drop down screen of the like amount of items in a stack, and then you can hold control and then left click the individual item you want. Or just click, left click and drag like an individual item in that stack. So control is if you want to like select multiple things. Okay. I'll try to pay more attention. I got a lot of I got a lot of stacks of two, which is very annoying. Two, three, and five. Trapping. Okay. So I'm not sure what full sets I have. Well, put all the books into this garbage bag here that I have on this table. Okay. Um, and also, you should eat that hamburger that's here. That I put down, because you're you're looking kind of hungry. Electrician volume two and three. Okay, we have that. Farming one and four. Okay, we need four. Grab. First aid three and five. Don't mind if I do. Now mechanics one and two. Mechanics, we have one and two already. Okay. And tailoring, one and four, and trapping, two. Oh, we got a full set of tailoring, so that's nice. It's good. Uh, we're pretty close with some of the others. Farming. Well, like I said, we can put we can put all of our all the copies that we have, uh, not the cop like the extras, but like the originals that we need, into this garbage bag here on this counter, um, so that we can just grab the garbage bag in one go and just take it over. Also, it looks like you're really hungry. You should probably eat that that sam yeah that burger I put there. If you're still hungry, I got fries and some chicken nugs on me. <laughs> hmm. There was a fast food place like right next door, so you know. Eat. Extremely heavy load. Discomfort. Something doesn't feel right. Probably the heavy load. It's probably the heavy load. Yeah, exactly what it is. In your inventory, by the way, you can hold control and left click uh, specific items so you can like select more than one thing. Um, you can also, if you're not hovering over any specific item, you can hold left click and drag. So if you're like outside of a uh, you know, yeah, like if your, your cursor's not over an item, you can select multiple things. You don't have to do it one by one. Carpentry, one, two, three.
The only first aid book we're missing is book two. Yeah, that's a that's a right shame. The only Oh, we're out of room in the garbage bag. Well, well, uh if you drop it on the floor I can put stuff into the garbage bag I have organized. Which means no. I can basically just organize it for you. <laughs> well, uh very nice. Okay, uh, drop. And here's the five volumes of tailoring. And a few more magazines. And then trapping. I don't think it can take trapping yet. Yeah, now, now the bag's full, full. It's at 16. Okay. I'll take this and throw this in the back of the car. Uh, you can grab the magazines I left on the floor. Oh, which volume of first aid did I say was missing? Uh, two, two, right? Okay, I got it. Well, there you go. And... Oh, crap. I don't remember which other ones were missing. It's in the car, well, right? We can look at the mic. Yeah, it's in the trunk. You can just pull it out of the back and put it on the ground. Beta blockers. Cool. You know, sometimes performers use beta blockers so that they can perform more um, reliably. Well, because it, it makes them calm down, calms their nerves, and all that. Yeah. Which which garbage bag? It, if if you click on the, the the arrow on the left side or the top left hand corner of the icons for items, uh, you'll see that you can uh, you can select like you know, multiple stuff. So if there's like multiple garbage bags and one has stuff and the other thing doesn't, you can click the drop down button to drop it down and you can hover over a specific item, like the specific garbage bag and it'll show you what's inside. Sorry if I'm having hard, uh, sorry if I'm doing a poor job at explaining it. No, it's okay. We're, we're all right here. So we've got carpentry one to three, cooking one to three, electrician is missing one and is one is missing one. Farming, we're missing two and three. Fishing, we have one to three. Foraging, we're missing number one. Mechanics, we're missing number three. Metalwork. Missing three and four. Okay. Well, there's metal working three here. I'll put it on the table next to the cash register. And there's a. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for this place. I think we're missing a couple books. Yeah, definitely I'm gonna be missing a couple books here. Oh well. Are the metalwork magazines not very good? They're listed. Uh, I dropped them on the I, I dropped them before because I didn't have enough space for them. They're still good to take because we need to read them for certain recipes. Okay. If we wanted to, if we wanted to do like metalworking, because we can make like metal fences and whatnot in this game. Right. Nice. Okay, I'm in the car for when you're for when you're ready. I forgot I also had some books that I just threw into the into the back of the truck already when we hey, were in hey, the other. Chris, you Yo. should probably clip close the server toolbox on the left hand side. Oh. Mostly because I just realized that's open and that's showing the external server address. I guess that's uh I mean, it's not going to matter, but that's like your IP address and whatnot. Hmm. Um, OK, 
Okay. This uh, fast food place. I have some uncooked fresh meat. Should I cook we it? We can we can cook it. We can cook it at the house inside the stove. Oh, okay. You can also like uh, craft like cooking. If you go to the cooking menu within the crafting menu, um, there's a lot of uh, cooking you can do. Like you can take uncooked raw meat and then slice it up and then put it in with like butter and then put other stuff inside of it as well to make the dish like you know have more calories or more food or whatever. Uh, do we want to live in this house to the right, or do we want to live in the, the one at the end of the street? I don't know. What, whatever you think is best. I'm... Mm, we can do middle one, then. Whichever one that has the nicer... We can have a gnome. Ah, the gnome. We just gotta move everything else out of the car. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna kill the zombies that are gonna be wandering over here. Actually, he's not, he's not wandering over here. He'll, he'll take a while. He'll be fine. Yeah, we gotta move everything out from the back of this car. How do you... How do you like to organize your stuff? Like, do you like to put all the food in a... Well, usually I put all the food in the kitchen, and then I'll pick, like, a, a little storage locker area to put all of my, uh... All of my other stuff. Like I usually keep all my valuable like resource building things like propane tanks and boxes of nails and whatnot close together. Okay. So you can pick like a room upstairs if you want to put stuff into it. Are those zombies breaking, like, in our house? Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll have to go find out. They are. Are they? Well, it was one in the back of our house. In the, like, backyard. Other one seems to be next door. I'm using a meat cleaver to chop down trees, who would have thought? Who would have thought? I am putting a bunch of stuff. Oh, not that. Into the kitchen. You can turn on the light in the kitchen if you want, you just have to find the light switch. Let left click it. Nah, it's okay. Might as well save energy. Oh, right now when we don't have a generator, it doesn't matter. We only have to worry about how much power we're using until, like, when we have a generator on. Oh. Well then. Perhaps that is what we will do. Oh, should I add some sheets to the door? As like a, uh, this one doesn't have a window on it, so we don't need sheets on the door this time. But at the back here, there's a there's a window on the door. Oh, well, yeah, you can do that then, yeah. How do, I, the how do I do that? Ripped sheets? 
Oh, they're ripped. You use you use uh, the actual sheet sheets, not the ripped sheets. Okay. So the ones that look like uh, like pillowcases. Okay. Um. I'm just organizing our kitchen a little bit here so that all of the, the like dry food is in the yeah where it needs to be is in the is in the it's in the cupboard beside the sink and the cupboard under the sink is where I'll put like cleaner and stuff like that okay well and if you want there's a oh, sorry go on no it's okay I'm just just how I'm, I'm just or, like choosing somewhat arbitrarily a way to organize things so in the okay. bathroom well, I'll put some like vitamins and beta blockers and whatever first aid stuff I find yeah it makes sense um, inside the living room by the way there's a there's a dead bird huh. chilling out on the on the table there with some also raw bird meat so if you wanted to save some game meat for later you can throw that in the fridge or freezer and get ourselves a pan to cook that bad boy up. Nice. Well, you know how to look at like your stats, right? Uh. Yeah, I press H. Yeah, you press H and just go to skills. It shows like skills and everything. Yeah, okay. Um. Damn. I guess I should eat some food. Apparently I could eat a horse right now. Yeah, I mean, I got pizza slice on me and some chicken nugs if you want it. Well, or you some... can figure out how to make food if you have, like, a, a pan or anything inside the kitchen. Well, should I should I avoid eating, like, things like tomatoes as they are? Because it's better to cook them with food? I mean, you can, yeah, I mean, you don't have to, but you can. Oh, I see you're boarding up all the windows. Yeah, all of our windows are almost boarded up. Very nice. We also have to break into our garage eventually, because our garage has no key and no window for me to break in through easily. You might want to close the front door whenever you go inside, though, because I'm not I'm at the front and a zombie. There's a chance a zombie could just wander in there and surprise you. It wouldn't be very cool. Oh, shoot. If I double click the the bird. Yeah, if you if you double click it, you can um, you can take it out uh, and put it into like where you want it to go, like the container you're looking at. Hold on, if I double clicked the bird while it was sitting in my inventory, did I just eat it? Uh, I don't I don't think you ate it. I think you put it into the um, into the cest. Oh, you did. You did in fact eat it. <laughs> okay, I just ate a raw bird. Oh, do you have weak stomach? Yep. You might die. <laughs> When, you might you might get I... sick all the time and die. I mean, there, we can usually fix it when you you're, you might start getting nauseous. Is the thing, I mean, if you don't get, start getting nauseous, then you're fine. Um, but you're probably gonna have to like like chill at home and not like exert yourself and uh, whatnot for a while. Here, I'm already I'm already gonna put a fucking cross outside in, <laughs> in anticipation of your death. <laughs> Bury you out here. Uh, Next to the gnome. All the windows on the first floor are now boarded up. We have a ooh, we have an empty cooking pot and a saucepan. You can fill them up with water and uh, like open stuff up with a can opener. Mix and match them. Very nice. Want me to show you how to do that? Uh. For now, I'm a 
gonna say nah. Okay. I'm just gonna transfer a ton of books to this. Here, if I if I move this closer, uh, you, may, you should be able to access now the book bag while standing there. So you can just drag them all in, yeah. It says right click to show treatment menu. But I can't see it. Ooh, see, you're you're getting nauseous now. Right click to show treatment menu. This because there's nothing there's nothing to treat you right now with. Uh, what you would need to do is I think just not move. Right click, sit ground, and then just not move. Maybe rest if you can, and eat food. Because right now you're slowly you're slowly dying. You want to keep your your food moodle in the green. So here, I, thought, I can give you some food uh, if you just right-click and click sit on ground or whatever thought, for now. I thought the, um... Some fries you can eat while you sit there. If you don't want to, like, die. I mean, you might still die because you had weak stomach. But if you keep your food up, like your moodle in the green for food, there's a chance you might live. Says, like here, I'll... I'll Thaw this entire ham in the oven for you. Very severe oh. damage. I just ate a frozen ham. Uh, you might die. <laughs> Why is it you double click? Well, I, thought, I, I don't I know. Thought, I, I thought double click was to put the item into the, the thing. That's what it did look like from my perspective. I thought you put it in there, and then all of a sudden I, I saw you were eating it, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought I was putting it in the fridge. Uh, well, just keep your health bar out open and see see how quickly you, you perish. Yeah. Critical damage. Oh, jeez. And apparently my character is really hot. Yeah, you're... I mean, unpleasantly hot isn't isn't too bad. I mean, you can just take off some, like, extra layers for that. Like, you don't need, a uh, like, coat and... All the other stuff on, or I mean, like a shirt underneath it that doesn't give you any scratch resistance. Holy crap! Look at me go. Uh, oh, because you stuffed a whole. I mean, to be to be fair, you, in 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 like in game, you stuffed a whole bird down your throat. Yeah, seriously, like that's not what I was trying to do. Yeah, kind of like psycho moment there. The game should have some kind of thing in place where you don't just like double click and end up eating it. a whole bird. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well, no, well, hold on. Eat, eat this whole, eat this whole ham. If I can place it in front of you in time, I'm gonna put this ham right here. Is eating eat that whole ham. food the only way to heal? I mean, if you're if you're injured by. Um, if you're injured by like an actual laceration, you can use bandages. If you're injured by sickness like this, you can eat lemongrass, but we would need to forage for lemongrass. We don't have any of that. There's no like peptal bismol or anything that's gonna like uh, keep you healthy uh, from you know getting infected like this or you know eating something that's bad like that. That big old raw bird. Apparently, I couldn't manage a single nether bite. Are you still at critical damage? Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, is your health going up by chance, or is it still, like, staying still or going down? Uh, it's hard to tell, to be honest. All of the information on the thing is really small. Hmm. It seems to be kind of holding. As long as you, as long as you stay, you stay fed, you should be okay. Which is why I'm gonna make some food real oh. quick. Is it going back down? No, it went up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna make us some food then. That's interesting. Because inside here we have a, a saucepan, so I can grab the saucepan. 
and then fill up the saucepan at the sink. And then with the saucepan filled up, I can put stuff inside of it. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, you can have like canned Obviously. chili. Can I not oh, my health cook anything out. with this? That's good. Maybe I can't cook anything with this saucepan with water. At least nothing here would seem. Oh, let me take it over here. Yeah, I think I may need a fry pan. I think they may have changed it. You can't use a saucepan for everything anymore. Oh, it went down from critical to very severe. Oh, so you're not going to die after all. That's good. Am I surviving? I think so. I'm just trying to make you more food. My health is going back up. <laughs> I'm sitting here with like a garbage bag on me. Oh, I forgot about these boots. Oh, now I can prepare a stew. Jesus. I could eat some gummy worms, I guess. I'm gonna make you a tuna canned chili and canned corned beef stew. Don't you worry. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be quite the, quite the treat. Oh, by the way, we can also cause explosions in this game if you put, like, metal stuff into a microwave and then leave it on. That's fun. I know, it's great. You mentioned how that's like in multiplayer servers. Unpleasantly hot, fairly heavy load, getting bored. Yeah, if you if you want to like not get bored, you just have to sit outside or do like an activity like reading a book. Uh oh, it went down to fever, and then oh now it's back to sick. It's back to critical damage. Uh, yeah, maybe maybe take off some of your external players. Like you know, maybe take off like your jacket or something, so you're not as hot all the time. Don't worry, I'm gonna have a tuna can chili beef stew thing that you're gonna eat, and try and eat it in like portions so you eat like one quarter first because it's going to be a lot of food it's going to be like 70 food in one container and if you want to like just sit afk you can grab a book and start reading it for like a skill level like something you want to level up uh, skill wise oh that's not a bad idea because I can see I'm right here, I'm cooking right now, I'm reading a book. I guess I could read first aid, that would be appropriate, right? Yes it would. Also, I'm gonna put the giant tub of stew on the on the counter there so you can start uh, reading that, or not reading that, eating that up. Hello. Burning? 75, hunger. Oh, it, it, no, just, the burning it just means, yeah. It's, it's, it's hot still hot right now. No, 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 it's, it, you can still eat it right now. Burning just means that it was, um, it was still hot that it counted as cooking. So if that bar filled up, it would count as if it was being burned. Uh, but right now it's still fine to eat. It, it's barely burnt at all. pot go? Uh, the pot should be in your inventory. Oh, there it is. Tuna, canned chili, and beef stew. I'm too full to eat. Pour on ground! Oh my god. Yeah, it's, Imagine just waste all of it. that kind of a jerk. Just it's like, like, oh, you made this nice meal for me. Let me just... Oh, what happened to it? No. Oh, that's so bad. 
It's all on the ground now. I'm gonna start making a furniture wall outside. A furniture wall, you say? Yes, yeah, a wall made out of our furniture. We only have like a small table to contribute. Wow, well, we have, like no furniture in here to do that with. It's sad. I don't want to. I don't want to remove all the furniture downstairs. It's, that'd be sad. Excuse me. Health has gone up quite a quite a lot. I mean, you might you're probably gonna live through it, thankfully, surprisingly, amazingly. I mean, you ate a whole dead bird, like a probably like a slightly rotting dead bird. I mean, it was fresh, <laughs> but I guess I'm not gonna be double clicking things anymore. I, I'll just drag and drop, or right click and use the drop down menu because. The double click yeah, that might, not good. <laughs> might seem convenient, but yeah, I'm not not worth the risk. That's how you accidentally end up eating a whole bird, just shoveling it down your throat like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how do I stop? I want to stop reading so I can eat. Oh, here we go. You should be able to just like walk, and you'll stop reading, yeah. maybe. Yeah, that's exactly what I just did. <laughs> I was like, clicking the eat button, and it, he was like, "Nah, I'm reading." Oh, here oh, I got I got something that. for you. In the meantime, that'll keep you occupied. I got a radio. A radio, you say? Yes, a radio that you can use to actually uh, listen in on like shit going on in the world. It's great. That's good because apparently I'm getting bored. I'm Here, still I'm gonna put on Nox talk radio. Oh, I'm, I just also off. I'm also still unpleasantly hot. I'm not sure if maybe it's the leather gloves. I mean, it's probably just because you're you have like a fever right now. Right. All right. Well, you can if you come over to it and you right click this thing, you can click device options. You can swap between two radio stations currently on here, which is Nox talk radio and LBMW. I'm gonna put on Nox talk for now. I think the radio station just cut off though as I brought it over sadly. Hey, my my health is going back up. <clears throat> you might not have to be cooped inside anymore. You're not probably gonna die. Well, this is a good opportunity for me to feed the guinea pigs. Are you girls hungry? You bunch of little baby guineas. Yeah. They've been very good. They deserve lots and lots of greens. While well, my dude reads for about first aid. Also, I found another radio station called MH or er, NN, NNR Radio. Um, which is at 98 megahertz. If you wanted to put that into our uh our radio. Yeah. Alright, sorry, one sec. I'm gonna take off uh, my headset for one sec.
Well, I just dismantled something, and I'm only two experience off of leveling up carpentry. So I gotta go destroy another bed. That's kind of lame. <laughs> Thank you, game. So fun. It does feel nice when XP is, like, nice and neat and lines up perfectly with, you know, like, leveling. But at the same time, I guess that's fair. Like, I guess in real life, you... You know, might not have an experience like that. Okay. No, probably not. Alright, I'm going to start trying to work on the furniture wall. <laughs> this, um, this stew that you made, I think, probably saved my life, like, it on its own. Like, I mean, I ate the whole darn thing, but... On its own, I think it basically held off. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, I made it specifically for that. It was just like three cans of food, so it really wasn't that 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 bad. It wasn't that expensive for me to make. It probably would have tasted nasty in real life, to be honest, based off of the name of the thing. But you know, canned okay. tuna, canned corn, and beef. You just like stew it all up together. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Interesting that. The solution to having eaten raw bird meat and being getting sick from that is to eat more meat, but it's cooked. Yeah, I feel like it's a little in real life you would just get sick and throw up, <laughs> and eating more food would just make you more likely to throw up more stuff. Well, the game theme tries to be realistic, but it doesn't always succeed in all areas. Evidently, At the very least, go take something for it. But in this game, you don't take anything for it. You just, you just gotta, you either die or you don't die. Yeah, fair. I mean, to be fair, I don't play video games for realism. If I did, I wouldn't be playing video games. <laughs> yeah, you literally play it to suspend your disbelief. Yeah. I'm basically here to escape from reality, not, not experience more reality. Right, girls? You little, you little baby guineas. Yeah. They're, uh... They know when it's time. When I take the... When I take the cage off the top. The lid off the top of their cage. Food. They know it's time for dinner. Yes, you do. Come here. Such smart little babies. Yeah. We adopted a new one over the Christmas holidays. No. I don't remember if I told you. No, I don't remember being told, so yeah. Yeah, um, Rosemary died last November. And no. Willow, Willow was on her own. And um, guinea pigs don't do so well on their own. They need They're a partner. They're social creatures, yeah. So we got... We ended up... Well... We weren't sure if we wanted to continue the the train of having guinea pigs, because if you adopt another one, eventually the other older one will die, and then you'll that one will be alone again, and you'll want to adopt another one. And yeah, it's a constant train of just getting guinea pigs for guinea pigs. <sighs> However, um, in the end, we we saw there was a lone lone female guinea pig up for adoption at the uh, animal services and. And that was an obvious. Uh, that was that kind of made the decision for us, I guess, in a way. All right, first aid level one complete. So I'm still queasy, but it says I'm okay. Would you want um, excess books to be tossed out? Like we have an extra copy of First Aid Level 1, for example. I could go put it in the garbage. Rawr! 
Oh, my, I keep forgetting that my push to talk. Oh, okay. Um, you see the furniture wall, by the way, that I did? Uh, I did not. Okay, the furniture wall is uh, is built now. It's it's finished. Is it? Yeah, the, the desks, shaped chairs, and whatnot. It's it's on the road, like the main road, like the original road. We came down with that red car. It's like right oh. in front of that. Oh yeah, that's great. Now now they uh they gotta break down that. If they want to get over here towards us. Nice. Or they gotta come come the other way. I am extraordinarily tired. Like you or your character? Oh, my character. I'm 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 okay. More or less. I can read. I can start reading Carpentry Chapter Two though. Which is nice. I might I might clean all the blood off me though first because I am drenched, completely drenched in blood right now. Oh yeah, there's also a military frequency in game that we can tune into. We would just have to find like a military ham radio first and figure out what that frequency is. And from that, we'll um, we can get some private information as well as figuring out when the uh, when the power grid's going to turn off and when the water's going to turn off as well. Cause they discuss that over radio. Can we wash clothes in the washing machine? Uh, yes, we can. We just need to put our clothes inside. Right now, I'm washing my clothes in the sink because I'm lazy. But we can throw all of our clothes into the washing machine and then just click turn on, and it'll uh, it'll clean all your clothes at once. That is good to know. I'm gonna pop some clothes in here right now. Is it a blue one? No, it's just a washer dryer. You can wash the clothes as they're on you, but it makes you like a really like soaking wet, which you know, yeah, yeah, not always the best. No. Um. I also had another thing of clothes in the truck. I never ended up finishing emptying the truck, so let's take a look here. I think there was a... A ranger. There was a what? A ranger? Oh, a ranger coat. coat. A ranger shirt. Something, yeah. Oh, I think uh, it was a it was a ranger shirt. I'm, I'm pretty sure I ended up tossing that on the ground at some point. There's a there's another ranger shirt over here. Those ones, it's just for style. So if you want this ranger shirt here, you can wear this ranger shirt too. Hold on, where are you? Here, take this. You're gonna need to clean it though inside the draw shirt machine. Yeah. Hello, zombie. If you want to learn some carpentry, you can come in here and uh, start. Yeah, this TV show is going to turn on at like 11, 11.50, give or take. Because the TV stations, there's a uh, in-game, there is there is five TV stations. Four of them are just uh, for lore. And uh, they're all like news type stations. And Life and Living is the one that we're currently on, and that one is the one that gives us skill points, and the one that we normally listen to. Uh, each station has its own, like, uh, schedule. So, you know, we could watch Life and Living and then put on, like, a new station and listen to some lore, some new stuff. Um, it'll freak you out, though. Like, there's sometimes you'll get negative debuffs for watching the news. Like, if you're watching the news about, like, the Nox virus infection being, like, quarantined and whatnot, and you hear, like, the military's doing really well through, like, the news, uh, you might get less stressed and less anxiety 
Um, but if you see that, like, the military is being overrun and they're talking about it on, like, the, uh, on the TV, you can get depressed and get a lot of stress and anxiety from watching that happen. Right. Because you're right now, as far as your character knows, you're inside a quarantine zone and the military is surrounding you and, like, the world is not over. Interesting. So you have hope. Yes, you have hope. And then you can lose that hope if, uh, yeah, if you watch the military get destroyed and zombies overrun them, like, actively. That makes sense. Okay, while my character reads this, I'm gonna be right back. Can I read a... Oh. Wait. I, if I finished first aid volume one... You need to... You need to now level up first aid in your skills. So reading a book will only give you a multiplication to your skill. And then you actually have to perform first aid to level up first aid. So if you cut yourself, you have to, and you like stitch it up or bandage it, you'll get first aid points. Oh, I if see. If you, like, yeah. So the the books only help us. Like these TV shows, when I was saying give us skill points, we can read a book on carpentry, and like a carpentry TV show will turn on, and then we get carpentry points, and so we can get like a boost because we already read the book. That's so so re if we're if we're trying to if we're trying to min max like our leveling, we we should read a book beforehand, like almost always. That's so cool. Yeah, it is really relatively clever. All right, I'll be right back real quick.
Yeah, okay, I'm back. Um, by the way, for someone, are you are you here, Chris? No, it looks like looks like he's not here. So let's see here, what shall I read next? <clears throat> oh, by the way, Chris. Yo. You've actually, uh, for, for like, I've seen a lot of people try this game out for the first time, and you've done surprisingly well so far. Oh really? A, a lot of people will just they <coughs> won't grasp how the controls even work, and it's 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 hard to watch to be honest. <laughs> Usually. <laughs> Fair enough. Yes, I mean, I, mean I, I've, I've played this game so much that it, I just I just think it's it's easy at this point, and I don't yeah. remember how how hard it was for me because when I first started playing this game, I died a lot. So you know. I sometimes have an unrealistic expectation for how people are gonna people are gonna play. Hmm. If you eventually want to help me um, build like fences and walls and stuff, you can start reading the carpentry series. Yeah, sure. Right now I'm reading cooking, and mm -hmm. I was gonna well, make some you're... mac and cheese. That's good. There's a saucepan and a cooking pot that you can use for the mac and cheese. Um, 6 p.m. is going to be your time then. You're going to want to go to the TV at 6 p.m. to watch uh, the cooking show. Okay. Give you cooking Good to know. Um, I'm just going to... Speaking of cooking, it's about dinner time, so I'm just going to go while my character is reading and uh, see what I'm going to eat. <laughs> I'll be AFK right, for a second.
right. And we're back. Welcome back. About halfway, reading through reading Cooking Volume 1. Can I read a and book and also watch TV at the same time and gain skill that way, or do I have to, like... Yes, you can You can do both. You can be standing in front of the TV while it's on and reading your book. <laughs> That's the dream. Do, does, do I need to go to the TV and, like, control the... I mean, it's already set to the right channel, so you just have to wait for the time. I see. Oh, wow, okay, so it has channels. Look at that. I know, I, I was trying to explain earlier, like, the other channels are mostly for lore, so they are all they all have their own schedules, yeah. but Life and Living is, like, 6 p.m., 6 a.m., and 12 p.m., and 12 a.m. Wow, that's um, beautiful. So, yeah, you can get skill points from, from them. They do uh, carpentry and cooking and fishing, and I think foraging as well. Yeah. Interesting that your character gets bored even though I'm, like, reading a book. I think it's just because you were already bored originally. Usually if you're reading a book, the boredness stalls unless you start, like, stacking books. If you want to lose your boredness, just, like, stand out on the lawn, and it'll go away. Ah, uh, okay. You get a little... You get a little bit of, uh... Cabin fever if you're inside too much. That makes sense. Yeah, just a, just a smidge of it, it would seem. <clears throat> oh, I, like, I like the depth that they have here. That, like... Um, survival games, like, where they shine is, is details. Um, like, you know, the survival, there are some survival games out there where every item in the entire world is useful. So you basically just, you don't actually have to think about what you're picking up and carrying around. Yeah, you just grab everything. You just grab everything all the time and be a pack mule. Um... Whereas, like, some, some survival games, it's kind of like, most things are useful, but it's a good idea to care, to focus on certain things because of timing. They, there's different ways that, you know, things uh, get divided up, but I do have to say, um, this, this like, like, junk items and things like that, that seems so cool. Um, and I bet you, obviously, as you gain skills, I bet you you can find ways of making some of these more useful again. Oh, uh, definitely. You're gonna. You would really love the, the build 42 that they're gonna come. Eh, they're gonna be coming out with because you can basically start with nothing, in like the woods, and only look for like sticks and grass, and build yourself a house eventually. Nice. Um, right now you can't do that because you don't have the ability to make like really crude stuff. But eventually you're gonna have like you're gonna have crafting to the point where you can pick what your spearhead is and the stick you're using yeah. and you know things like that and if you want to like nail something you're gonna need a hard surface to nail it on or if you want to you can like, like an anvil or find an anvil and like do that sort of stuff because right now there's not a lot of like end game things to do besides just like live and survive yeah that's um, that, that so, to me is okay though like clear surviving and clearing out all the zombies that's the dream right there I mean, we haven't even been... We haven't even seen the many zombies so far as it is yeah. since we got up here. No big hordes. Just I mean, like I've a... killed 115 zombies with a nightstick, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, there's a there's an uncooked pot of stew sitting out on this counter for three days. I'm going to cook and eat this. Nice. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's the apocalypse. Who cares? It's the apocalypse. Um, the the show that came on. I don't know if if this matters to you, but the show that came on gave me fishing, not cooking. Oh, uh, that's because yeah, it it switches up some days. I don't I don't mind. I I just thought you you might want to know. Yeah, like I said, it, it switches up some days, so it's uh it's not too great. I I forgot it does that. If my if my uh, total encumbrance used to be twelve and now it's eleven, does that mean I've lost strength? Oh, it's probably just because I haven't eaten. Yeah, it's probably it's because you haven't eaten. Oh yeah, that makes more yeah. sense. All right. Why is that a sixty percent chance to like fucking destroy? I don't want to. 
destroy it. Want to add to the furniture wall? <laughs> That's all. Oh yeah, we can we can cheese the system a little bit, by the way, in the sense of um, if I trade items to you, um, we can avoid the limit of fifty. Uh, encumbrance because the absolute limit of what you can carry is 50 okay. uh, but if you right click to trade with another user you can you can give them up to 999 interesting uh, and I figured that out when I was playing multiplayer because I used to lug logs of wood and logs of wood are really heavy so uh, uh, I just got like a buddy to just do that so we could expedite the process it was a it was a pain you can you can make like you can tie logs up like, rope and like sheet rope and whatnot so it's not too too bad but you know it could be better hmm. the issue about our furniture wall is that we have no real way of getting over it besides like hopping a fence so if a zombie is smacking on it one of us is just gonna have to hop a fence and then run all the way around to kill him or just shoot them with a gun or something hmm Yeah, it's taking. It's gonna take me forever to level up carpentry. I don't make anything with carpentry right now. I can't even do a wooden crate. That's sad. Ooh, there's a suitcase in the closet upstairs. That's good to know. Oh yeah, I, uh, you can you can carry that around, use it as like a temporary backpack type thing. Yeah, I like that. That's a good way to, to carry, I guess, some heavier stuff, right? Well, yeah, it reduces the encumbrance by like 50%. It'll tell you how much on the side. Nice. I'm just going to toss some crap in the clothing. It's really, it's really unfortunate, actually, that we haven't found a single backpack yet of like any kind. With the amount of houses we've been to, so, you know, e. Yeesh. Where is... Did I leave the axe inside? I must have left the axe inside. Uh, there's an axe on the, yeah. the table here. This is what I was looking for. If we leave too many corpses lying around, is there a danger to that? Is that a bad um, thing? There, there are, I mean... I think so, because we're using default settings. Which means they can get up. Like if we leave them around, they can they can sometimes just reanimate. Really? Yeah, they will just like get back up from the dead. Um, I usually turn that off. I don't remember if that's a def. I can't remember if that was the thing that default added to the game. But that's something you have to you know turn off yourself. Um, all I know is that is a thing. <clears throat> So yeah, we might want to watch out. Sometimes just randomly getting up. Yeah. All right, I was going to cook some mac and cheese. Wait. First, let's finish reading this book. We're close to the end.
All right. We're almost there. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you do want to eventually use guns, but if you want to learn how to use guns, I do have a shotgun I could maybe saw off and give to you. Uh, you learn how to use guns by getting, um, like, it's kind of stupid. You learn how to use guns by getting more damage with guns. So, like, if you hit four targets, you'll get four times damage as well. Um, sorry, I fucking explained that really stupidly. Uh, oh, that's good. Trying to think and or talk and not die at the same time, it's not great. Alright. Cooking volume one complete. Now Do I just take the cooking pot? Or do I have to You should fill up the cooking pot with water first. I need an oven mitt? No, you don't you don't need an oven mitt, it's fine. Also, you can right click the oven to set its temperature if you do like device settings. So if you set it up higher, it'll cook faster and like thaw things faster, but also burn them quicker. Do I have to turn on the oven and then cook? What do I do? Um you can you can put it inside the oven, like the thing inside the oven and then just click turn on. Oh, you have to... Celsius and everything. Wait, so yeah. I put... I put the cooking pot with water in the oven? And oh, also... no, you can... Uh, not the cooking pot with water. What you do is, with the cooking pot in your hand, you go to stuff you're wanna, gonna want to, like, add into the cooking pot. So, like, food. And then you go and click the uh, the hammer with a check mark beneath your health. And you want to click cooking. And then you should see some things that you can do with the... Uh, pot like make stew or make soup if those things don't come up when you have a cooking pot with water it means that you don't have a base or anything to put inside the the pot with water yet put in container oven wait so I have mac and cheese in my uh, in my inventory Yes. So then, and you have you have water inside of your um, inside of your, the, your pot. The pot, yeah, and it's equipped now in it, to primary. Um, and you opened up the crafting menu for cooking. Oh, crafting menu. Where is that? Uh, underneath your health icon. And then you want to click the cooking oh, tab. Oh, hello. Okay. So I tried telling you, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't know where the tab was. Uh, oh, okay, cooking. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know the recipe. No, you, you you can make it right away. You don't need a recipe for it. Um, you just don't. You might not have a base for it, so you might not have something like. Uh, what are you trying to put inside the the pot right now? Just the mac and cheese. Yeah. Maybe try and use it with a saucepan. Maybe. Okay. Hold on. I'll, I'll come inside in a second here to see if I can help. Pan. I close the door and then the door opens again. I love that. Okay. So, cooking. 
maybe come over here, try to put olive oil in it, because you can probably make a soup if you get, like, uh, water and then olive oil, and then you can probably put stuff in there with that. We can also take out, like, some of the meat, cook some of the meat or the, some t the tomatoes and thaw them. That might also work. There's so much, uh, so many different... Well, in the morning, we can go to a superstore. You want to, like, you know, put a bunch of garbage bags inside the truck when we get there and then just fill it all of, uh, all the garbage bags up with food. Should come back here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, one thing we're really going to need to find is a how to use generators magazine because until we can find that, uh, none of us are going to, like, neither of us are going to be able to connect a generator to our house. Okay. I actually just went through the entire list of cooking recipes that I have and I can't find. I can't find. Here, uh, give it, give it to me real quick. Drop it on the ground. Macaroni. I, I find, like, stuff that says, like, prepare pasta. Oh, do I have to put the pasta into the pot? Yeah, you should. Well, there, if there's pasta, you should be able to, yeah. Or like mac and cheese? like. Or is it just, can I just eat it? Hold on, can you drop it on the ground for a second? Let me, let me take a look. Oh, shoot. I got the mac and cheese, it's fine. Is that just eat as is kind of thing? Uh, mac and cheese. Well, give me the give me the pot. I'll take a look. I don't have the pot on me. Shoot. Uh, so what? What? Well, what TV show was on? Or this is talk radio. I don't. Give me an actual news station, please. All right, cooking pot with water. So over here, I can prepare soup. I can put olive oil into this thing here. Oh. So if I if I add olive oil, uh, I now just have olive oil soup. <laughs> I cannot add mac and cheese. I think to this. I think mac and cheese is uh. Yeah, I don't know why mac and cheese is is something you can't use with it, but it's not. Anyways, if you want, you can open up the cans for the uh, peaches or carrots and add them in there. Or you can take out some of the food from inside the freezer and mm. thaw it and put it inside. But the, the soup I put is right there. So you can, you can use it now, yeah. So maybe the mac and cheese is just eat it out of the straight out of the box not like yeah cookie. i think i think it is i think it is uh, i don't think it's something you cook well that's interesting well you got the olive oil soup there you can put stuff into the olive oil soup do you just add stuff to it randomly? Yeah, I mean, you can open up the canned carrots and then just throw that in there. Canned carrots, and then you can also saw some stuff in the freezer if you want. Use that. Alright, I also now have a giant crate wall, which is not super defensive because I'm wanting to make a, a gate when I can, uh, but I don't have the levels to currently do that. I'm gonna need carpentry six, which we thankfully have just enough for, to get. No, oh, there's a police deputy jacket in here if you want to wear it inside the suitcase here. I'm happy with the ranger clothes. 
Ooh, I actually realized I got the, uh, I got a exposure survival for fire. Which means that's a TV show I can put on. It'll give me carpentry skill. I have a police deputy jacket on me, actually. No, oh, okay. Yeah, because you were wearing one before you died. Yeah. Oh, is that a carpentry? Yeah, I'm playing a uh, carpentry uh, TV show right now. Exposure Survival. I'm hoping I can get to level 4 with this. That'd be great. Um, I don't think I can get to it. It's a shame. Okay, take that VHS out. Back in the suitcase for now. Hey, uh, I think, uh, I think I've finally started to go crazy in the game. Oh, yeah? Does your character start to lose it? Yeah, um, hold on. I, I have a new friend. You'll see what I mean. Hold on. I need to, I need to find something for them first. My new friend. Do clothes weigh a little less when you're wearing them? Uh, yes, they do. That's good. I need a hat. Damn it. There's no hats up here. Oh wait, I do see a hat. I'm gonna go grab it. Hold on. Is there a reason there's a kitchen knife in the living room here? Oh, that was the that knife was that was... That was the dead bird, yes. Right. Yeah, bird. Someone was murdering a dead bird before the apocalypse happened. What, you don't want Anyways, your carrot? Uh, I've, uh, I've brought over a new friend. His name is Enrique. Hold on, here you go. I also what? got some clothes for Enrique. What? Is he a, is he a, a scarecrow? No, he's my friend. It's Enrique. Um, okay. He's my best friend! My best friend since childhood! It's great! See, he's gonna like... He has, he has armor around me! <laughs> it's great! Because we're best of friends. I need to get him some shoes. Lady, give me your shoes. <laughs> we could, and your uh, brain. We could do, um... Oh, what is it? Weekend at Bernie's. Mm -hmm. It's an old movie where a guy died, but they, but they take his, I don't know what it was. It was like it's his dying wish to do a certain thing, um, and I guess so. In order to honor his wish, they just dress him up so that he appears to be not dead, and then like they like carry him around with them. Um, Oh jeez, so, it's like they just carry him around like a puppet. Yeah, exactly. Probably, you want you want some bling? You want some bling to wear? I, I actually got some bling. I haven't been wearing it right now, but I have I put it away. I got more bling for you. Hold on. Except Ooh, metallic this. dress style watch. Look at that. Oh man, the buttons. 
Just Buttons click seal your offer other. and then click accept deal. You can click the top of the like boxes and you can move them around. Yeah. By the way, you can nice. actually set an alarm on your watch for an in-game time if you right-click your digital watch. And you can turn the watch, the timer on and off if you click the little bell icon beside the time on your like digital watch on the right-hand corner. I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna cook this olive soup because you know it's, it's just water and olive oil. Why? Why would anyone eat that? Oh, do you want a? Um, do you want a spear? By the way. Uh, sure. Is that a good weapon? I mean, I can make a. I can make a, a normal spear right now. I think. I've got a nice. But if I get. And a screwdriver. Hmm. I mean, I can I can attach a screwdriver to the end of it, or like a knife to the end of it. I think. Cool. Uh, I don't. Can, can I not make a spear? What's going on here? Oh, do I not have my saw on me? What's going on? I don't see the option to make a spear. I think I might not have enough uh, things on me. It's too bad that you can't, like, start a game together, so you sort of, like, spawn together. Oh, I need a knife. Uh, I mean, you kind of can. There, in, in some, uh, in the multiplayer game I play, you can have, like, a safe home, uh, safe house. And so I could, like, right-click and claim the safe house as my own, invite you to it, so then when you spawn in, you can choose to spawn at my safe house instead. Right, but then that, then that nothing. only works with the game that you've already done that in, right? Like, you and I can't start a new server and we just spawn together. You know, that's that seems to yeah. me like that would be a cool thing you could do. Although I'm sure there's a mod there's a mod for it, I'm pretty sure. By the way, there's a spear right there. You can see it does a lot of damage, actually. It just doesn't have a lot of durability uh, overall, so when you use it, it might break pretty quick. But I, I just needed a knife to make them, it seems. So what you're saying is I should keep my nightstick. Probably. I mean, you can put the spear on your back. You can put it on your back instead. I have a shotgun on my back. It's too bad we can't... Um, I assume that we can't... Um, like, have them the zombies come up to the fence and then you just spear them through the fence. Oh, you can. If you Can get you? like, uh, yeah, I, I used to have, so I have some clips uh, of it as well, but I used to play like obviously on this server I've told you about. And um, I once made my entire base surrounded with uh, wired, meshed, like crafted fences and the zombies would come up and I would just pull out my knife and just stab them through it instead of, you know, going all the way around and having to actually kill them normally. That's the way to do it. Walking Dead style. It yeah, exactly. It looks like these uh, <clears throat> these fences, though. From what I could tell, the zombies, um, rather than trying to reach you through the fence, they actually they're. I gotta. They go around. The yeah, only time they actually programmed trying... to go around. <laughs> like yeah. The, the AI normally, programs yeah. them to be smart enough to go around, which. It's it's because they're they're not a big enough horde to destroy these fences, and it's also because. Um, they, uh, these fences are not normally destroyed. Oh, I lost you there for Sorry, a second. Sorry, I'm trying to, like... Are you fighting? Yeah, I'm trying to fight right now, and my, my push-to-talk button happens to be bound to mouse 4, so... Uh-oh. I'm kind of, like, fucking up my hands here. <laughs> it's okay, though. I'm, I'll be fine. Okay, so if you build a wired mesh fence yourself, zombies will attack it because they can break them individually. Those pre-built fences, the ones that spawn with the world, those cannot be destroyed by the zombies unless there's a huge horde. Okay. So the wire mesh ones that you craft are the ones that you can stab zombies through like pretty easily because they'll be like right up against the fence just smacking their face on it. I see.
by the way, right across from us, there's a gigantic uh, inn. With, like, a lot of food, I think. Mm. And, well, I mean, a lot of food, I mean alcohol. And a gigantic American flag, which I do want. I'm going to steal that. <laughs> America. Hell yeah, America. There's also tons of bourbon as well. Like, if you need to get fat, like, a little bit, you, this is where you do it. Because you can just come here and drink a shitload of bourbon. Oh, it fattens you up? Oh, yeah, because bourbon has calories on it. You can actually read the calories on the back of it. It's like 1,500 per pop. Mm. So if you just get, like, obscenely drunk and then just do it again and again and again, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. Drinking be doesn't fine. have adverse effects in the game? Uh, only if you're driving. <laughs> really? That's interesting. Yeah, if you're driving, you're gonna fucking die. Almost guaranteed. So you can't drink and then get, like, food poison- or er, um, alcohol poisoning? Not to my knowledge, no. I guess this was. I'm, I guess this place wasn't in, so there really isn't much going on here, huh? Got like a pool cue and like some some pool darts and zombies breaking into this place that I'm hanging out in. Ugh. Oh, the big horde spotted me. That's not cool. Ooh, that's a big horde of zombies. I don't like that. Lacerated. I got caught finally uh, while I was fighting zombies. That's on my left forearm. I thought it may have bit me because he got. He, I'm going to chase by like a shitload of them. So I thought when he bit me, I was going to get pulled in and I managed to shove him off. So I'm fine. Uh, but I'm also not going to be able to kill these guys. I might need your help outside. As in, might, I mean, I, I do. I do need your help outside. Alright. I also need beta blockers if you have beta blockers on you. Uh, shoot, they're in the bathroom, uh, in the... Is this thing jam already? Oh, I don't have a fucking magazine in it with ammo. Oh yeah, spears have one hit kills animations from certain distances. There's one that's all the way over there. I'll get him. You go get those beta blockers there. Yeah, I, it's okay. I, I don't need them anymore. I just need them for, uh, for those zombies coming up. I apparently had no 9mm ammo in my gun. Where is my 9mm ammo? Goodness. That spear's pretty good, though, eh? How, how yeah. much damage has it taken? Um... It has taken... Its condition is just over half. Yeah, they're, they, I can make you a couple of them if you want, but they weigh a little bit, so... I may not, I may not want that right now. <clears throat> oh, you can repair it. Oh, you need a bunch yeah, of stuff to repair it, though. But you need... Yeah, you need duct tape or wood glue. It's honestly just gonna be cheaper to destroy it, or just, like, toss it out and just have me make a new one. Right. I broke into our garage. Ooh, boxes hey. of nails. Nice. 
I got another saw and some safety goggles. And some I got other. a walkie-talkie from one of those zombies. That's nice. Empty we need to get ourselves a backpack. Yeah, there's another gas can there. Yeah. Backpack would be good. Um, I will pop the walkie-talkie. Are you using this... Um, are you using this uh, mm -hmm. uh, suitcase? As yeah, like I'm using this. Is it like a go bag? Uh, it's more just like my. This is my random stuff I'm dumping into this bag. Uh, right. Bag. Okay. So, <laughs> it's not. It's not a go bag. Uh, I don't think we're at the point where we have go bags because we don't have a. We don't even have bag bags. We have a suitcase and a van. Okay. Uh, well, I can I'm go gonna... start bag hunting though. Oh wait, I can't because I I fucked up my hand. I'm gonna bring this suitcase down. I messed up my forearm, which means I can't, uh, I can't, I can't swing as effectively anymore. Did you put stuff in the oven? You did. No, no, I did, and I burned it. Well. Oh, I didn't know God there was stuff in there. That was my fault. Not your I, fault. That was my I fault. I would have, I would have gone and checked it if I'd known. It's okay. I'm just being a little bit silly right now. Oh yeah, the USA flag I got. That's huge. Here, look. USA! Yeah! It's huge. Oh wait, also I got more bling for you. I forgot. It's, uh, it's right here next to the guitar. It's a little golden ring with a ruby on it. Oh, I'm wearing a golden ring with a ruby on it. You can wear more. It's pretty cool. <laughs> what should I do with this walkie-talkie for now? Should I just leave it? Uh, you can you can just leave it uh, here, or you can tune it to a frequency and just like put it on like a news station, maybe. Do we happen to have painkillers? No, I have painkillers here. That's um, a shame. I will take these beta blockers though. There were some painkillers at one point, but they I don't know where they are. My inventory is so full right now. Goodness. Oh, I forgot there was a door here. I mean, I'm gonna, I can see if I can continue go. Uh, uh, see if I can go backpack hunting. If you want, you can come with me. Yeah, sure. Give me one sec. Or we can smash into more of these uh, these garages here, real quick. I might just. come with you. Let me just refill my water bottle. And my character is also really hungry. Um, maybe no, I should stay here some and cook some food. Maybe. I'll cook these canned carrots. Ooh, I think I just got us a barricade upgrade, which would be nice if this works. Ow! Oh, are you serious? I tripped, and I fucked up my shin and my pants. You tripped? You I tripped just... over, uh, I you tripped just... over a fence I made. <laughs> you can just randomly trip, eh? No, well, I mean, you can if you're sprinting and you're, you're getting chased by zombies. Uh, you, it's like, you know, say you turn a corner and you need to sprint away, you can trip to uh, that point. But you see that fence I made? Yeah. Behind the crates? Yeah, I tripped on that. I smashed my face into the ground, and should, it hurt. Should I pour the olive, oil, the burned olive oil soup onto the ground? Yeah, just, you can toss that. I mean, you could technically eat it, but I mean, who's gonna who's gonna eat that? 
There, there is a school that we could go to. Yes, hey, like look, we look what we have outside now. Instead of just a normal wooden barricade, we now have a giant metal sheet. A bell so pepper, I can... didn't we? Or some bread? Yeah, it's in the freezer. It, it's in the freezer right now. I moved all in the freezer. Also, if you want to move like some other specific stuff, like a pantry area, I built building some double shelves like right here. Nice. So you can put stuff on it. Should I double the double shelves up so it's like two double shelves next to each other? I can build another set like right next to it. I don't know if that would be aesthetically nice. What, uh... Yeah. What should I... What kind of stew should I make? Uh, I don't know. You can just make whatever. I don't, I'm not too picky. My character is, isn't, I should say. Tomato. Yeah, build another. Tomato, carrot, meat, and bell pepper. No, that's probably good. Just three things is probably plenty. Yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a moment before I'm gonna be able to start looking for backpacks now though, because I messed up my shin and my arm. <laughs> I am in pain. You want to like a dusk mask to wear? Canned carrots stew with olive oil. Hey Chris, would, uh, Chris, would you want a uh, hand or uh, a mask to wear? A what? Uh, hold on, let me check what the hell this is, thing is again. A uh, dusk, a dust mask to wear. It's not a, not a dust. Uh. I don't even know what that is. A dust mask. You know those things you wear when you're in like a construction yard? You oh. know? I was saying uh, dusk. My mouth's all messed up. Ugh, it's like a tongue twister. Dust mask. Perhaps, perhaps. Oh, do these frozen foods have to be unfrozen to cook? Yes, they need to be thawed before you can put them into this thing. You can put them in the oven to thaw them quickly. to turn the oven on, right? Yeah. Here's your uh, dust dust mask. Hate saying that damn thing. It's on the counter there if you want to put it on. Are those good to put on? I mean, it's more for the aesthetic choice, to be honest.
we happen to have a, a gun case inside the car still that had a shotgun in it and a bunch of ammo, so I put it here. Top of the shelf there. You don't happen to have painkillers, do you, by chance? No, but I could have sworn we saw some in, in I saw some in one of the other Yeah, I feel like we did. Okay, so do I just then cook the stew once it's made? Uh, yeah. You once the once the stew's made, it'll say like fresh, uncooked, and then you just put it inside the oven and cook it. Nice. Oh well, yeah, my TV show's about to start. Vegetable and beef stew. So I just put it in the oven, and then I turn the oven on, right? Yeah, that's and then all you need it, to do. And then when it says fresh cooked or whatever, that's when I... Yeah, when it's fresh cooked, you take it out. Cooking! This is Jackie. We've seen disturbing evidence from the inside the exclusion zone. <coughs> Oh, are you, you getting like a news broadcast while I'm in the other room, like watching Woodcraft? Yeah. It's on the, uh. The radio, yeah. Radio. Food, I forgot. I, I almost had a trouble with it. <clears throat> Excellent. So, if I want to get fat, I should like eat. Eat stuff that's high calorie. I mean, you can wander with me over to the bar and then just go, you know. Go drink all the alcohol in the bar and just get shit faced. Okay. Uh, let me first place this soup down. In case you get hungry, you can have some later. Oh, I'm a little bit hungry right now. I'm gonna have some right now. And. I guess I'll put this book down for now. We can also get like wine and stuff that we can put into the, uh, the pans. But I clicked eat half, and he ate all of it. Oh, there was only half left. Uh, well, I guess the other. Uh, that's what I figured, but it's still it's a shame. Okay, let's get in the let's get in the van.
Alright, this is the place. Inside here, we got tons of alcohol. I'm playing cards, cigarettes, and the like. Actually, lots of cigarettes in here. Is there any drawback to like drink smoking? Uh, I mean, it'll make you feel sick if you're not a smoker. If you're a smoker, it's just a straight upgrade because uh, you get happiness because you can get sad in this game. Uh, you'll completely remove all anxiety so even if, if you have like max anxiety if you're a smoker if you smoke one cigarette you remove uh, all your anxiety levels and also you get like uh, a little bit of a boost to your happiness so uh if you just smoke a bunch of cigarettes you can go from really depressed to really happy even if you don't need to smoke them yet like because your anxiety is fine interesting um we can maybe find trash bags and put some of them into trash bags or at least yeah i'll go grab a trash bag from over here that way it's a little bit more organized. I think also when you're drunk you don't feel the pain as much. Well that's not a surprise. I might be wrong. Do you have more than one trash bag on you? There were two. I only the have the one on me right now. There might be some inside the car. I, I grabbed one that was inside the trash can inside the store. Okay. Yeah, there were two in this in the in the store. Uh, in the bag. Not that much bourbon. Hmm. I'm grabbing all the bourbon and wine. Oh shit! Zombies. Fuck. You good? Yeah, I just got a little snuck up on there, but we're good. Let me double check that I'm okay. Very minor damage. Did you get did you get attacked? Like did he scratch you? It doesn't. Say scratches or anything. Hmm. It could be also because you were carrying too much stuff. That's probably why. It says slightly damp, rain or sweat. <laughs> yeah. Here, I, I grabbed. I put all the actual alcohol inside. Um, inside here. Inside where? Oh. I have it uh, inside this garbage bag that I just grabbed. <clears throat> is there any other alcohol, or is that it? There is a uh, not much more alcohol. There's just some more uh, beer, I think. Okay, I put it inside the trunk. There is that supermarket nearby, if you wanted to go to that. Is beer not worth drinking? I mean, it's okay. It doesn't have as much calories, but you can still drink it if you want unhappiness. Like, if you're sad, it's pretty good. Probably shouldn't be drinking because I'm the one who's supposed to be driving. <laughs> I can drive back. Oh, I was thinking of driving us down to the store, uh, like the big uh, superstore. If you wanted to go down there.
Because the superstore is pretty good for like, you know, just getting a bunch of food that we might we might need for later. And there's also the school we can go to as well. Um and loot like their library. Because we do still need that uh, magazine for how to connect a generator. Where's the garbage bag? Uh, they're inside the van now. You can take them out. I renamed them, so they should be garbage bag and uh, alcohol bag. Or beer bag and alcohol bag. Is there any way to, like... just put stuff into the beer bag from uh you no really you have to actually take it out like right click and equip secondary or just uh just that's pull too, out that's too bad yeah i know oh well it's kind of stucky Man with an injured forearm, I do no damage to these guys' goodness. <laughs> I can steal the Bail Bonds sign. I think that's kind of funny, actually. I'm going to do that. Ooh, do you want some uh, fresh frozen ice cream? Chris. Uh, sure. Hey, give me a second. Does it actually, just... like, does it remove the, um, hold on. There's a zombie coming towards you right now. Yeah, no, I know. That's sorry, that's... Oh, fuck. I just needed to focus. <laughs> I'm not very good at fighting yet. Um... So, okay, so, okay, you're getting there. Hello. I stole a... I stole a bail bond sign, by the way. I'm gonna put it in front of our house. Be a little bit of a rebel. How do you rename the the bag? Uh, you you can right click it and click change name. Yeah, I'm just sitting in the pass or driver's seat. All right, if you're sure you should be driving. No, I'm no longer drunk. It it wore off actually really quickly. I say as I almost swerve the wrong way. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's go around to like the loading dock area. Hey, that's more than I thought there would be. Oh, are we gonna fight them? 
All right. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh shoot. Just keep, uh, if you need to walk away from him, just walk away. Here we go. I use, I keep forgetting, I have push to talk to Sable. Or enable, ugh. You better get swinging though. Forgot I, you know, it's a shotgun after all. I think I'm just gonna disable push to talk for now. No harm done, there. Ooh, disposable camera. Ooh. You said cameras were good, right? Uh, oh, I oh, try. Yeah. I don't even have to hold the button down anymore. Jesus. Uh, disposable cameras. I mean, they're just like a junk item. I'm pretty sure. Oh. They're not. They're not a big deal. All right. So this is locked. Uh, not for long. I'm gonna break it down with an axe. Hold on. Oh, are you? Is there no? We could go in through the front, right? We could. But we could also just drive our car into the back here, and then just start loading it up from inside the store. It's open. By the way. Let's go inside. Inside the store. Inside the back end of the store, actually. Oh, look at all it's these can canned goods. I know. This is why we put the car right here. There's trash bags as well. Right in this thing here. Put the garbage bag right here for you on the ground. I put that inside the fucking box. Not why I wanted to do. Is there any reason there. for me to not wear the dust mask? I mean, it, like, no. It's literally just an aesthetic choice. Maybe like, you think it's cool, <laughs> you can keep wearing it. I don't know. I, I thought it looks cool. I don't know. I thought it was neat. Also, I can steal a water dispenser. <clears throat> like, you know those office water dispensers with the water jugs? Oh, nice. Maybe yeah, just take one of those. Also, the sacks of stale food, you can empty the sacks out. Uh, and then just use the empty sacks. Uh, and, filling, and fill them with, like, other stuff that you want to take. Like, perishables. Or non-perishables. Because I see there's, like, sacks of strawberries that are stale now. Which are not too great. Yeah, stale bread. Ooh, there's a bunch of fresh apple pies though, if you want to come over here and eat some lemon marin marin you. Don't mind if I do. I don't know how that is. Key lime pie. Oh, le that's lemon, lemon pie. meringue, that's what that is. Meringue? Alright, thank yeah. you. I, I don't think I've ever had that in the real world. <laughs> Ooh, there's also a chocolate velvet cake. What is that? Oh, that's stale. Oh, oh, that's lame. It's in the baked goods section. Let me turn on the lights in here. There we go. Also, there's tons of ice cream, it would seem. I get a bag of rice that you can use to cook stuff with.
There's also lots of butter here as well, and like lard that you can also take to cook stuff with. Also, there's lots of eggs in here, too. How are we going to keep all this food from going bad? Well, we can get a generator, and also we can potentially steal... Not, like, just take all the non-perishables. Or we could also steal these giant ice freezers, like these chest freezers out here. Use those. Because they hold a, a lot of storage. I mean, we could we could honestly just live off of non-perishables, though. It would right. be fine. I think the that the garbage bag is now, or the truck, the trunk of the truck might be full. Well, let me let me come take a look because I have organized. So it has 176 storage for me. Okay. It's 128 out of 174 for me, so I can put more stuff in it. Let me put this on the ground then. Yeah, in this bag, I can I can put more stuff in this bag. Let me put some more things in there then. If there's anything else I can find. Actually, let me grab the uh, the butters. Mayonnaise, eggs. Also, remember we gotta freeze all this stuff instead of just. Hmm. You know, leaving it out. Lots of margarine and butter. It's really good. There's another garbage bag I got. If you wanna. Nice. I'm surprised there's no pans in here. I was looking for like a pan maybe. The, the pie slices, by the way. Uh, no, I didn't see them. They're, they're by the front of the store, uh, by the chest freezer. That says ice on it. Alright, we'll do. It's full of ice cream. It's like the uh, leftmost kiosk for like the pastry dishes, like the pies and whatnot. You know, you can right-click the garbage bag and click Equip Secondary. Walk around with it in your hand. I did not know that, but thank you, now I do. I did not need to do that. I'm, fucking... I'm an idiot. Right when I smashed the window out, I was... Right when I smashed the window out, I saw the key for it on the floor. And this thing has a full tank of gas. Oh, I just destroyed the window on this for no reason. I am a fool. Are we getting a second car? Yeah, and I smashed out the window right when I saw the keys for it on the ground. That's too bad. I know, it hurts my soul. So if that is empty out of space, we now have another car out here that holds another 100 something in the back, 154 for me. So we can carry a lot of stuff out of here. Head upstairs. So what's up here? More trash. It's good. 
There's actually a couple more trash bags upstairs. And an access onto the roof. We have tons of trash bags. We could also steal a coffee maker and make coffee in this game, but it's not that important because we're in single player, or er, co-op instead of single player. And we don't need sleep. But in single player, you can make uh, coffee for yourself so you can stay up longer. <laughs> 